Hello, everyone. I am Tacit, and welcome to the Animal Crossing New Horizon stream. A uh, day 32. Well, we are officially past the one month mark, and uh, we actually got a, something uh, kind of special. Although uh, it's not happening really till tomorrow, technically, but uh, our shop and game is currently closed. Uh, we are finally getting the non time skip upgrade on um, the cranny which happens after 30 days, or it's based on three requirements. Um, you have to play for 30 days, or 30 days after you've made Nook's Cranny, uh, specifically. Uh, spent at least 200000 there buying and selling stuff, which we have excessively exceeded by like 100 times over. And uh, the third one being, um, I think you had to talk to Abel's sisters or something? I forget what the third requirement was. Whatever the third one was, it's like ultra easy that you would have done without even trying. I forget what it is off the top of my head now. But also, uh, we got a uh, update coming soon for this game, uh, 23rd. I think they're still doing something for tomorrow, for Earth Day. However, we're going to be having um, a, com a couple things happening on the 23rd. Uh, we're going to be getting Red. Uh, for any of you that don't know who Red is, Red is basically a traveling uh, merchant in this game, uh, often trying to scam the player with fake art. So uh, we're getting a uh, fake art, or, or real art and fake art being added to the game. He also is going to be selling colorations of items that don't currently exist. Um, so uh, all uh, quite a few items in the game are going to get new color variants that are only obtainable from Red Shop. And um, the museum will be expanded because, of course, now that we're getting art, uh, that little top area of the museum is likely going to be the art section with um, all of Red's art. Uh, and you basically have to find all his real pieces, and um, I'm not sure exactly what happens with the fake. I think you just decorate with them or something. But uh, maybe we'll need to make a museum of all his fake pieces as well, since we're making a museum. Have, like, the real one next to the fake one of every single variant. That would be kind of cool. Uh, and see if people on our own island can spot which one is real without any stress of... Uh, of accidentally doing it wrong. We'll probably have to look up guides for that because uh, it is very annoying uh, getting those. Like, super, super annoying. I'm not sure if it's going to be luck-based or you could just kind of tell if it is or isn't. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be really annoying. <laughs> I, I'm not really too aware of the mechanic, but, uh, yeah, he's going to be at, like, the top right beach. Or, actually, it's different for every player. But he's going to be at that one private beach, that little sand area at the top of your um, town, uh, your island. Uh, he'll be docking there. Uh, whenever he comes in. We're also going to be getting bushes as of the 23rd for Earth Day. Uh, Earth Day is on 22nd, but uh, for whatever reason, the patch is on 23rd. So not exactly sure how that's happening uh, since tomorrow's Earth Day. But uh, we are, will be getting bushes. We will be getting hedges. We will be having some kind of May ticket thing that we'll be able to go use, which are kind of like Nook Mile tickets, but something special for May. Um, I believe there's some more characters coming into the game as well. Um, some of them uh, were excluded for whatever reason. And uh, apparently it's raining. So, let's go and uh, get into things. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you have rugs on your island. Ooh. I might need to head over there, Cinnamon. Did we need to trade anything? I can't remember. I think you stole me a Nook Mile ticket. But, aside from that, did we need to trade anything else? That's why did it fade out. Go in. Okay, anyways, let's see what Isabel has to say about today. She'll probably mention that Nook's Cranny is closed, which is a little bit unfortunate. This is the first day in a while where we actually have no shop. Um... So, yeah, that's going to be weird. <laughs> if I want to use a shop, I have to go to someone else's island uh, for today. I don't think we're really going to be needing a shop today, but uh, we'll find out. Anyways, hello there, everyone. Hello, Isabel. Uh, right now on Dragon Day, and it's 1.06 p.m. on Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Now, for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Uh, oh, yeah, Sterling moved in. He's still in boxes, though. Uh, let's give a big Dragon Den welcome to Sterling! Uh, congrats, Sterling. I'm sure you'll enjoy island life here. Also, as I mentioned in yesterday's broadcast, Nook's Cranny will be closed today for renovations. Uh, the grand reopening of the new and improved Nook's Cranny will be tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Uh, well, technically reset time, but you know, it doesn't open until 8 a.m. But, uh, yeah. We'll have that tomorrow for Earth Day. I'm sure you're all as excited as I am to see how it'll look. And with that, I'll be back to work, uh, supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. There we go. But yeah, our, our shop is closed. It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I still got plenty of other things we could do without using the shop. Uh, my phone is ringing. Oh, apparently they're still giving us our money, though, even though they're closed. That's kind of funny. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. Uh, we've sent a payment of 24,832 bells. We know. Thank you. Oh, let's go talk to Phoebe and everyone. 
Yeah, it's raining, and obviously that place is closed. Also, I kind of made like a little, um, this is obviously work in progress. I was going to make like a little um, area for all of our mailboxes for all of our other houses. To kind of like make like a post office area. Because I'm not sure if we're actually going to be getting like a legit post office. If we do, we'll probably move it all near there. But for now, I kind of just put it all there because why not? Um, let's see. Do you know that the moon is 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around. Also, that reminds me. We got a moon DIY the other day. Oh, that also reminds me. We should have a lot of things on our, our, our shore. I was able to do some stars AFK last night uh, before bed. And uh, also, I want to be catching all these two-sized fish. These two-sized fish can actually be a legend during rain. They can be caught all year, but I still need two more copies of it, I believe. Or maybe even three more copies. Um, I'm going to try finding it. If we ever see a two-sized shadow, I'm actually going for it. A two-sized shadow and a six-sized shadow. Uh, if we ever see any. But we should be seeing a lot of stars. One of the reasons I made sure to do it was... Um, I didn't actually do it on my own island. I went to someone else's island to go do it. Um, just gave them a Nick mile ticket for it. But um, the reason I did it is there's actually a new fragment that can be caught as of today. If you're not time traveling. Uh, there's one every single month based on the, um, the calendar thingy. And we should see some blue stars, I believe, on the beach. Uh, anyways, we got DIY. Hopefully it's a new one. Uh, but also we got a moon DIY the other day. Uh, not sure if I showed it yet. But anyways, congrats on finding my treasure. I thought of this DIY recipe while I was uh, letting loose during the dance practice. I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. Uh, show it off once you're done. Okay, what did we get? We got a small... Oh, we already got small cardboard boxes. No, well, to DIY storage you go. But uh, that's too big of a fish, so we'll get rid of it. It's probably worth a couple thousand. However, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, also, where are all the green ones? We should be seeing some green ones. Because we shouldn't see the white ones anymore. That was for Eris, and that was for the previous month. Also, I hope we get a large fragment. I still have gotten zero large fragments. Small fragments are still pretty useful. The large fragments are required to craft a couple things. One of them being the moon. Uh, if I go over to uh, somewhere's here. Somewhere's is a moon. Uh, I forget if I ever showed this DIY. It's actually probably one of the cooler ones. Uh, and we can actually craft it eventually. Uh, oh, so this was the other thing I got. And that's what the green thing I was talking about that should be on our beach. So last month was Eris. Uh, but this month is Taurus, and uh, with Taurus, uh, this lasts until like May something, I forget exactly when, uh, but it lasts from today, or sorry, yesterday, until May, um, it was from uh, April 20th to May something. If, um, but yeah, we had the, this one for last month, and now this one for the next month, and there's one for every single month. Obviously, this will take us another 10 months to so get them all without time travel, but we'll get them eventually. But, um, yeah, I believe all of them require the same thing. The coolest one is probably for November, for my month, actually. The Scorpius one, or Scorpios. Uh, you end up getting a, a, um, a, um, a scorpion lamp, which is really cool. It's probably my favorite item from the set, personally. And the wardrobe, I forget which one the wardrobe is from. But, um, yeah, this, the scorpion lamp is probably my favorite from the set. But we won't have it till November, unfortunately. But at least we'll know we can go and save some of our star fragments, gold, and uh, stone for making that item. And then we just need to find the other things on the beach during the month of November. But anyways, here's the moon. We need one large fragment, four and 15 star fragments. 15 star fragments, super easy. One large fragment, not as much. Uh, but yeah, we can make a moon, which would be pretty cool. It even spins around and animated and everything. It's probably uh, one of the coolest items from this set. We also need to get the rocket DIY eventually. Because we do need that for our robot. We could always just buy a rocket from someone. However, I want to craft one of every single thing in the game. So I kind of want to hold out until we get a rocket um, manually. I should have probably done the same thing with gold armor too. Even though we got it during stream the other day. But um, I do want to craft one of every single thing in the entire game. Because it actually puts a check mark next to every... Oh good, we need more dories. But uh, it actually puts a check mark next to every single thing that you've uh, ever crafted. Like if we go into our crafting menu right here, you'll notice like some things have... Uh, uh, should have check marks next to them, like you can see over here. And some things do not. A check mark means we have crafted it before. And if it doesn't have a, a check mark next to it, that means we have actually never crafted it before. Um, so eventually, I do want to have a check mark for everything. Obviously, not in an immediate rush to get literally everything with a check mark. However, I do want to do it eventually, as that shows that you have crafted it. Um, and there will not be a check mark next to it, even if you own it. Like, for example, a uh, wand. We own a wand because someone crafted me a wand. I forget exactly who, but thank you a ton. But uh, someone actually gave us this wand, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I've never actually crafted it. As you can see, it's in my storage, but it doesn't have a check mark. Um, but yeah, you have to craft every single thing in the game in order to have a check mark next to it. There's no reward for doing so. However, it is part of 100% completion, theoretically. So I do want to do it. Anyways, uh, in other news, let's keep going around our beach, as not only do we have rain, but we should have a billion stars. So uh, let's keep grabbing weeds. We'll take our daily rocks and everything in a little bit. Let me scare away every fish that's not viable. Also, hello, everyone. Hope all of you have been doing well. Hope all of you are hyped for next patch. 
But anyways, hello, uh, Cinnamon. Hello, uh, Leonardo. Hello, Isabel. Hey, Isabel. The other Isabel. Hello, Kyle. And hello, everyone else. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Some of your flowers made a red when they did not need to. Um, it's because they have uh, recessive traits. There's like a whole breeding system in this game. Um, with like the whole actual like breeding system that exists in real life. And you have to put it into like a table thing. It's actually somewhat complex. But uh, the reason for that is it has recessive genes. The flowers in this game. And those recessive genes um, can hold um, other colorations on it. So for example, you could have like a... Um, I don't know, let's say like a pink flower, but it has a recessive red gene. And if you have like two pink flowers next to each other, even though they're both pink, they could theoretically make a red in between each other because they have a recessive red gene. And um, yeah, reading in this game is rather complex. Actually, I think it's more complex in this game than it has ever been <laughs> in any previous game. Like every single flower has so much breeding data on it uh, as far as all of its genes and everything. Uh, but yes, you, it is possible that that could have happened. Also, we got the label here today. That's kind of useless. I don't even like doing her. She's really annoying to do. Uh, because she makes you do an outfit and she gives you a useless uh, thing. A uh, piece of clothing. We do not need more clothing. Also, that reminds me. Uh, we're evicting Drake next. Uh, he st stood in his house when we he was the only person I didn't talk to yesterday. Because I didn't get to play too much yesterday. And he was just in his house and was like, nope, I don't want to come out. So for the first time ever, I actually did not get talking to everyone yesterday. Uh, you may notice if you look over here, this says 31, whereas this says 33. Uh, so he kind of gypped us of a chat yesterday. So um, yeah, he's being evicted because he went to bed too early. <laughs> he went to bed way too early. So now we must evict him. He was already going to be evicted anyways. But he set it in stone yesterday. Unless this is the best DIY I've ever seen. Uh, let's see. What are you crafting me? Orange wall, you're evicted. I do need that, though. But it's not something we desperately need. We're never gonna use it. It's just for completion's sake. Actually, do we already have orange wall? You're super evicted if, that, if we already do. Also, I didn't even realize. You can actually put something on the shelf. I have that shelf. I didn't realize there was room to put something on the other side. That's pretty cool. Uh, yep, we already own it. Yep, you're being evicted. Goodbye. You've given us a billion reasons to do so. But, uh, he's the next to go. That reminds me, I didn't show you guys the new character that we're trying to, uh, recruit. Let me go and, uh, go into here for now. Uh, where to go? For All Bird Island. Actually, our All Bird Island's almost complete. We only have two more people to evict. Well, theoretically, one is not a bird. Though Drake is going to, even though he is technically a bird. He's actually the first bird we're ever gonna evict from our, uh, town, actually. Uh, but anyways, let's go and, um... Let me go and, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, check next shopping while we're here. Got some songs I need to buy. We'll do that later, though. Oh, do I have that color variant? That's the only big issue with these. Always annoying to know if you... Okay, KK House, I don't believe I have. Let me grab that. Um, okay, let me go and... Um, electric scooter. Let me go and see if I can find this. Scooter, scooter, scooter. Scooter. Do we have this in white yet? Yes, we do. This is the one the only colors we have it in. White and yellow. Yeah, I'm kind of interesting to see what color variants red has. Red will be adding a new color variant to a lot of items. Uh, maybe even multiple color variants, but at least one to multiple items. How many items? I have no clue. Who knows? Maybe even literally every item in the game. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, or, you know, that has a color variant. But a lot of items. Uh, we don't know the full list yet, I don't believe. But, uh, like, dozens upon dozens of items will be getting an additional color variant that will only be obtainable through Red Shop, which would be pretty cool. Um, especially since some of these are already so hard to get. So if nothing else, it would actually make some of them kind of easier to get from Red Shop, theoretically. Anyways, uh, we need to go buy more songs. I should probably do that today. Unless we get something else bookmarked that I might want to get later. Uh, though the only problem now is I don't know which songs we still don't have. So I could always look back from, like, the W's and double check on our little listing thing. So I might need to do that a little bit later. I'm not going to do that now. But anyways, what I do want to go do now, and the reason I went in here, is invite a camper. Uh, let's go get... Uh, oh, I actually forget his name. Uh, it's actually our first male ostrich. All of our ostriches so far uh, have been female so far. However, this is the male one. Or one of the male ones. I forget if there's multiple. But yeah, Phil. Uh, he's kind of a Japanese kind of bird. Not like all in Japanese, like uh, Blanche is, but still like towards the Japanese side. And uh, yeah, he's another ostrich. To join our ostrich family. Uh, Phil! Guten Tag! Why, why did you have the same exact line as the other one? Gosh, because they have the same personality. They, they do repeat quite a few lines in this game. Probably more so than any other one. I feel like... I, it might have just been because it was ages ago, but I feel like the first Animal Crossing had much more diversity of lines between every single individual one. But anyways, 
An exclusive uh, invitation to the fabulous campsite. I'm honored. Please accept my acceptance. Uh, just give me a few minutes to alert uh, the uh, paparazzi, okay? Oh, no, not one of you. <laughs> we don't need another 2-2 in our town. Uh, uh, he gave me a pretty good uh, uh, DIY the other day. Uh, he gave me a ukulele. I'm not sure if you can actually play it in your hand. I don't think you can. However, this item right over here, and it looks really cool. We'll need to set it up on the beach somewhere. Uh, you can color it a couple different ways, but I obviously went with this one. But uh, look at it. It has, like, little flowers, and it would work really cool on a beach. Uh, like a nice blue ukulele thing. And, of course, it makes noise. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, he gave us that DIY the other day. Uh, gosh, we got two useless DIYs today. Well, it's a DIY storage you go. This is why we have the storage account. Oh, also, I changed the house of the uh, storage account, as you can see. It has been changed. We also changed this mailbox. I'm actually going to be changing all the mailbox to look like this, most likely. I also need to find someone who has black lamps. Also, if anyone has black lamps, let me know. I will either trade you brown lamps, or I'll trade you, um... I don't know, what do you want for it? <laughs> if anyone has, like, a lot of uh, black lamps, I need them. Uh, I'm not sure how many I need, but, um... Any black ones. I want to match the mailbox to uh, this. I probably only need two. Also, given that we're getting shrubs and everything in a couple days, we might be doing shrubs here and going for a more natural look. I'm not sure. But I was kind of doing this as like a little post office area. Uh, obviously, to be finished. And this centerpiece is not going to be like that. And obviously, these are placeholder for eventual mailboxes. And eventually, all the mailboxes will look like that or similar. I'm not sure exactly the color scheme, but it only takes a day to change them all. Uh, anyways, let's keep looking at the beach. We should be seeing a lot more stars. Uh, also, what was our dailies today? Uh, also, I need to go chat with what's her name. Uh, let's take a screenshot there. Got to get two more fish. Got to change our clothes. I thought we had that. Uh, also, I will be putting the rest of my clothes in the storage soon. Um, but let's get changed and um, just instantly get this. So we just do this. I wonder if you could do that in the shop, if that actually counts as changing our clothes. I never actually tested that. But uh, this is much quicker. A golden what? A golden throne? Oh, that's pretty cool. Is he making it right now? The Golden Throne seems pretty cool. Um, after we evict, evict Drake, um, yeah, I could probably give it, uh, Drake away. What day will that actually be? I'm trying to think. Is the second day, then third day? He'll be evicted tomorrow. So yeah, for Earth Day tomorrow, um, if someone wants Drake, uh, I guess we could give away Drake. Especially if anyone wants to give a little something for him. Uh, anyways. But yeah, I don't need them, obviously. Uh, what was I about to do to go do? I was going to go and screenshot real quick. So we get our free miles. There we go. Right next to the label. Then we're gonna go check our beach over here. Where are my stars? We should be seeing a lot more. Oh, whoa, whoa, balloon is almost gone. Wait, never mind. It's going right. Duh, duh, because it's earlier in the day. Only at night do they go left. So where are all those green fragments? We should be seeing some. Okay, please, hit it. Go. Well, how? Gosh, your aim is so bad. There we go. Even though I'm controlling your aim. <laughs> uh, what do we get? Anything good? Uh, oh, we got one of these. Is it a different color? Uh, I can't tell if that's a different color, but we'll go put it next to the other one and see. Uh, let's see. Let's grab our stars. Oh, yeah, let's go say hi to what's her name. Reset the fish. It's probably going to be reset as soon as we come out anyways. But yeah, here's Phil. Oh, he's making it right now? Uh, sure, Leonardo. I'll go head over. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks for calling me here to the big show. Been waiting for my, uh, shot for a while now. Uh, let's see. What does he want? Dragon Den. Wooden double t bed. Uh, do we have wooden double bed? I know I have a double bed. I'm not sure if I have a wooden double bed. And apparently I do. Rip. Already have the recipe. Stop giving me recipes I already have. Hey, Leonardo, give me a code and I'll head right over. Also, hello, Cookie. Hope you've been doing well. Yeah, just give me a code and I'll head over. Also, oh, didn't you say you wanted bamboo or something? At the oh, yeah, we got one of these green ones. Nice. I need one more of those. And then never give me one again, please, because we don't really need a lot of them. Uh, though, of course, we're going to still keep getting a lot of them. Also, I still haven't sold turnips. I'm not sure what day I'm doing that on. But uh, we need to get to that eventually. So I can't tell if that's a six or a five, but we're going for it. That looks like a six. It definitely looks like a six. Ah, uh, it's a sea bass. It's five. Rip. You can tell as soon as it starts vibrating. 
Rip. I still didn't take my rocks. We'll get to that. Uh, work in progress. You've been jamming out some uh, D3 uh, with Key Lime. Nice. Oh, he has been playing Animal Crossing? Interesting. I need to go see his island then. I need to go add him. Tell him he needs to go add me. I'm pretty sure he's not streaming right now, though. Don't need to see Key Lime's islands. Also, I found a really cool island the other day when I was doing a uh, trade. Um, I found a guy who actually has a YouTube channel, who I already saw his YouTube channel randomly, uh, just from browsing. But um, he has... Uh, why does this look like a 5 and not a 6? I'm still going for it. But uh, he has uh, like a horror island, which is really, really cool. Um, we're going to see if I can get him, or if I can like show it on stream sometime. Probably one of the coolest islands I've seen so far. He has like a really heavy horror themed uh, island, which looks pretty nice for a lot of the custom uh, tiles and everything that you could do. And of course he has it like staged for when he does videos, but even when it wasn't for like a video when I was just there, it, it, it still has like that theme to it. It's, it's really nice. Really solid island. Like, where are the rest of my star pieces? I know there's more than that. There should be way more than that. Oh, what are you going on about, Blanche? Uh, let's see. Zebra Oh, no. You want a zebra thingy? Sure, I'll happily get it. Tell me I already have it, please. Because I think if I just talk to you while I have it, it counts. Of course I don't. Rip. I forget what size that even is. I've been getting a lot of these tasks lately. Where they want me to, like, catch something for them. From the ocean. And I'm like, should I? <laughs> but, uh, I feel like we've been getting this a lot. However, you do get an achievement for doing a certain amount of tasks for them. And I'm pretty sure this counts as a task. So we'll keep trying to find it for her until Leonardo gives us the code. Until then, we'll just head over there then. See what's up with that. A golden Throne sounds like it takes a lot of gold to make. We have an okay amount of reserve. I might need to get more soon, though. However, the price of gold has, like, skyrocketed down. I think it's only worth, like, 100,000 each or so right now. Maybe even less than that. Like, it really went down in the multiplayer economy. I'm not sure what made it go down, but it went down very, very sharply. I think they may have revamped the drop table of rocks or something. I'm not sure exactly. Also, this is the exact same color. I'm sure it is. Uh, yes. There is no difference whatsoever, even though there's other variants of it. For now, I'll just leave you there, because why not? <laughs> oh, gosh. Both my um, fossils are right next to each other. It's kind of convenient. So we didn't check our trees yet today. Also, I got rid of my other trees, so these 15 trees are the only trees that can have items. Just so we don't have to go to two different areas when we do our daily trees. We just do it all in one spot. Works a lot easier that way. Uh, okay, let me go to uh, Leonardo. Um, that's not a thing. No, that's definitely a sea bass. I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, let me head back to uh, my airport as I search for this one fish real quick. I'm trying to find that one small legend. Available year-round, but I, I still want to get it. Also, I need to catch this because what's-her-name needs a zebra fish. And this is zebra fish size. Please be zebra fish so we can be done with it. Of course you're not. Come on, Blanche needs a zebra. And we need the legends, the mini legends. I think it's actually the smallest legend in the entire game. It's that one right there. Or at least that's his size. It's probably not him. He's pretty blind. And the fact that that wasn't blind makes it so it isn't him. Yep. It's this horse mackerel. Most of them will be horse mackerels. However, one of them can be a uh, legend. You can tell by how blind it is. The legend is excessively blind because it's a deep sea fish. Okay, let me go head over to... Uh, oh, wait. That might be it. Okay, that's not it. You can tell by how quickly it found the bobber. Oh, I do need that, though. It's an anchovy. I still don't have four anchovies, oddly enough. I'm not sure why. Uh, anyways, what do I need from all this mess? Oh, I just realized something bad about what I'm doing right now. Um, where are we going to put all these? <laughs> okay, I need to go sell these. Do you have an open shop, Leonardo? I might need to use everyone's shop, like, a bunch. Because I, I kind of forgot. We don't have access to shops today, do we? 
<laughs> that can be problematic with several things. But anyways, let me go ahead over to Leonardo. Oh, wait, is it night only? My bad. It's both, uh, I forgot. It's rain only and night only. I forgot. I did catch one last night while it was raining, but I forgot. It also has to be nighttime. It's not just rain only. The legend that's worth 15,000 that's bigger is rain only, though. Um, but yeah. I forgot about that. You're right. It's a really small time window, too. I think it's only available for, like, six different hours at night. It's available year-round, though, so we're not in any, like, direct rush. We can get it literally any month. Or we still don't have, um, five of it yet. Uh, anyways, search via Dota code. How do you kick out a villager? Uh, either amiibo card or you have to neglect them like crazy. Like, don't communicate with them whatsoever. Just basically, uh, surround their house with fencing. And just ignore them for days on end. And only talk to them if you see, like, a white bubble on their head. And when you see a white bubble on their head, talk to them. Because that means it could be them wanting to move out. It's uh, kind of luck-based to do without Amiibo. I don't think anyone has found a 100% consistent method to get it done very quickly. However, if you neglect them for a week, they should leave within under a week. However, it requires you doing literally nothing to them. Don't hit them with nets. Don't put them in pitfalls. Just literally just fence in their area. Don't talk with them. And uh, make it big enough so you can see when they come out if they have a white little bobby thing on their head. And if they do, then talk with them. That could be something else, but generally that will mean that they want to leave. If you've been neglecting them, that is. Plasma Ball? We already got a Plasma Ball at the moment. I'm not sure if it comes in other colors, though. But we're always looking to get more think colors cataloged. Which reminds me, I'll probably check your shop while I'm here, Leonardo. Though I didn't bring money on me. Though I have to go in the shop anyways to go sell. <laughs> but I might be back with money. That or if you have the money you could get and I could give you something else. Didn't you need something else earlier? I know you were saying something at the beginning of chat. I didn't recall what it was, though. <laughs> because I was busy working on the video. I didn't recall you saying something. Oh, your guy just changed clothes literally as we uh, came out here. That's kind of funny. Oh, gosh. It's nighttime here. Wait, is your shop even open, then? Because it's night. Oh, 7.30. Yeah, it's still open. It's still open. Oh, I like your white little lights, how you're using them there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, you needed bamboo. Uh, if you wanted to, you just need normal bamboo and not spring. Um, I could let you um, cut my, or not cut down my trees, but you know, harvest lumber for my trees. And um, as long as you leave all the spring bamboo, I can just let you harvest all the normal bamboo. We could do that because I have a pretty big excess of normal bamboo. But if you could just claim my trees. Wait, your thing's upgrading too. Rip. <laughs> My hopes and dreams of selling. They're gone. <laughs> All good. Uh, where's your DIY? It's one of these houses. Let me know which one. Gosh, it's gonna be so hard to find a house or uh, find a building that sells today. Wait, that's not it. Oh, let me go follow. Amelia? Uh, let's see. There's an easy way to figure that out then. Amelia. Okay, I found her. Found the. There she is. Nice. Let's see what this is. Another golden item. Amelia. I'm not sure if I would recruit her or not. I was slightly considering it. She'd be our first female eagle. Kind of like how Phil will be our first male um, ostrich. She'll be our. Oh, so that's a cool wall. I don't have that wall here. What are you making? Golden uh, throne? Golden seat. Nice. Hey, you have Gladys too. Gladys is still my favorite character. As far as villagers are concerned. As far as my favorite characters throughout the game. Flick. Uh, Tom Nook. And uh, oddly enough, Red. Uh, who's coming in uh, two days from now. Are probably my favorite like normal characters that are always available. However, my favorite villager is definitely Gladys. 
Like, that's hands down my favorite. Okay, anyways. Um, what do we get here? Ooh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if it can be customized to other different golds. I don't think most of the gold equipment can be customized, though, unfortunately. Pretty cool seat. Not sure if I have a spot to really use it in. We could actually use it in Zen Garden. Where we're going to have, like, an upper end of our Zen Garden. I'm not sure. Because most of it's going to look pretty natural. And a gold seat is pretty unnatural <laughs> looking. Also, she has that ukulele in the corner. Where's that guitar? My favorite guitar. Also, we need to catch insects, gosh. Uh, a lot of insects to go catch. Also, what fish did it want me to catch? A dace, really? Uh, if nothing else, I can try farming the thing later today. And we'll just randomly get a dace pretty easily. You have a lot of stuff you don't want? Uh, sure, I can go head over. Didn't someone say they had carpet as well? But thank you. And if you want, uh, go get some axes made. Uh, and you can go take my uh, bamboo, um, Leonardo. I'll go and get you in in a little bit. Just make sure not to touch anything on ground, please. Just only go and take the bamboo. Just bring... Uh, oh, you got to go for now? Oh, okay. So I'll go to cut it myself, and I'll just give you, like, a stack of bamboo uh, later or something. I got you. I could just even mail it to you. I'll just do that later. I'll just mail you a stack of bamboo. Oh, Yeah, Kyle and uh, Cinnamon, if you have a... Wait, Cinnamon, what were we trading? But, uh, let, Kyle, if you had a code, just let me know. I'll go head over. Also, let me go recheck for stars. Now that we went on a boat thingy, it should refresh our stars. We should have quite a bit on the beach. Oh, yeah, Leonardo, I forgot about that. Never mind, I don't have you added because of that. My bad, I forgot. I completely forgot. My, my bad. My bad, forgot about it again. Okay, next thing we need to go do. Uh, double check our beach again. Because hopefully that refreshed it with stars now that we left and came back. Should be quite a few stars. I was AFK for a couple hours while doing other things last night. Just mashing the A button. Yep, and stars are refreshed. Hopefully we finally get a large star fragment for the first time. I have never seen one naturally on my beach. If anyone has any spears, let me know. I'm not in like a rush to get them all. But uh, the fact that you have zero after like 200 or 300 wishes or something seems like below drop rate. Like really d below drop rate. I'm not sure what their drop rate actually is, but uh, I feel like we're way below it. And of these sea bass. I'm not sure why I'm trying to fish so much. I guess because it's raining, but we don't have a shop to do any of this with. So, um, we don't really have a good way to get rid of any of this junk. And fish do take up a lot of space. Let me figure out what on earth we're doing with this. Okay, I still need to go take my rocks, too. Maybe we'll go do that. No, I still need to find my other two fossils and clean up my inventory. Just plop it all down somewhere. Oh yeah, did we ever do your task? No, you needed like a wooden double bed or something? What do we need for a wooden double bed? Other than like probably a full stack of wood. Uh, where on earth is all the wooden equipment? Where's wooden double bed? Uh, wooden double, yep, it's a literally a whole stack of wood. How expensive is that, gosh? Eating up all my wood on me. He's just devouring our wood. Make that for in a moment. Actually, I should probably do it now to store away all the junk we don't need now. But then again, I shouldn't because we need to go do the fossils too. I'm not sure what order I want to do this all in. How much inventory do we have left? Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Oh gosh, this thing's going to be really annoying without a shop. Really, really annoying. I'm so not used to, especially this late in the game, not having access to a shop. I talked to you, right? Pretty sure we did. Okay, Kyle, we'll go head over right now. Let's go drop a bunch of junk first. Because we have a lot of it on us right now. Uh, sea bass, I'm actually not going to plop down. Just because I'm actually going to put in storage. Uh, let's place this. Place this. Useless junk. Uh, where's another small useless junk? Place that down. Is 
squid. Yeah, squid's still the full size. Almost everything in ocean, I think, is full size, actually. Okay, and the rest we put in storage. Too bad we don't have uh, CJ here today. That'd be pretty convenient. Oh, I didn't check my whole island, so maybe he is. Let me go store this junk away, and then uh, we'll go head over to uh, Kyle. Uh, let's see. Storage, storage. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I guess I'll keep on me for now. I guess I could put the full stack. However, I do want to see how many stars we actually get today. So I'm going to keep in my inventory for now. Anyways, let's go ahead over to Kyle. And, um... Then the next order of business will be to keep looking for stars, probably. <laughs> Actually, before I do, real quick, one second, Kyle. Uh, since it did get refreshed when we took a, a, a flight, uh, let's actually utilize that again by taking all the stars we have to the right side, real quick. Uh, because it's probably going to refresh again as soon as we come back. And we'll waste a little bit of potential if we don't do it like this right now. Otherwise, we'll have to wait even longer for the stars to spawn. Oh, we're getting a lot of these green ones. It's a little bit useless getting, like, too, too many of them, though. Just because, um, we'll have them in time, obviously. But, um, okay, let's go ahead back now. Let's cut through the middle. Maybe we'll find some fossils along the way. They're hiding somewhere around here. Find the other two later. I'm in, like, a dire rush to get them right now. Also, I got this new cool lamp the other day. It comes in three different colors. I believe the other one's orange. But, um... Yeah, they're like Highland Lamps or whatever that one is called. Uh, I didn't bother putting them in a correct location yet. They're kind of sitting there. Especially since we're going to have bushes there eventually. Anyways, uh, let me go head over to um, uh, to Kyle now. And we'll go from there. But yeah, I'm, I'm so hyped for the uh, Animal Crossing updates. Also, uh, the day that it updates, the 23rd, is actually, oddly enough, the four-year anniversary of the channel. Uh, we're going to be streaming, like, a bunch of different games. Um, I'm not sure which game we'll be starting with. Maybe Gems of War, then we'll probably go into Animal Crossing, and then we'll probably go into, like, a billion other games. But um, we will be streaming for, like, 20 or something hours that day. Across, like, 10 plus different games. Like, almost the entire day, essentially. Um, so, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun that day. It's the four-year anniversary of the channel, April 23rd. It's also the day Animal Crossing is getting updated. So go figure. That ends up working out quite conveniently. Also, um, Mario Maker is getting a pretty big update tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we'll be able to do that on um, on Thursday as well. Incorporate that. I haven't played Mario Maker for a while. But, um, yeah, I'll probably mess around with it some. It's getting a pretty major update. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. And since it will be a day after the fact, some maps will actually be made. Because if you're playing the day of, unless you're actually making maps, that's not really going to be that useful. Because very few maps would actually be, have been made yet. However, given that a full day would have passed between the 22nd and 23rd, hopefully some pretty decent maps have been made using the new format. So I'll probably just look them up. And if anyone has any suggestions for it too, feel free. But uh, wait, what's going on? Oh, interference. But... um. Yeah, I'll probably mess with that on Thursday as well. Since it's quite literally getting a huge update. You can, like, literally make maps. Uh, oh no, is someone coming? That's not me, whoever's coming. Hey, Maxipie, welcome. I was, hello, LPS, welcome as well. Bay, you can go in the passport button with the minus button to kick out the other person if you don't want them there. I believe directly on their passport, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how it works. And it's always good to have a blocked path right at the front of your area, too. Just so you can stand there.
Oh, why would you want a blocked path? Just in case other people end up coming. Most people end up doing that. Like, uh, kind of like how we have our front entrance. Just to make sure it, it helps uh, just with scamming and stuff like that. Even though it's pretty rare, it can happen. I've actually never been scammed once in this game. I had like a misunderstanding with a trade before, but it wasn't like a scam. I've never actually directly been scammed yet. Oh, you never know. You can never be too cautious. Only takes one time. Like someone could literally come to my island and just take a full inventory of turnips. <laughs> I do not stop the wheel. What happens if you stop the wheel? <laughs> Oh, so you have a functioning shop. Nice. Might actually need to pick up some DIY kits or something while I'm here. Hello. Welcome. Oh, that's a whole cool thing that you have here. I'm sure it's a DIY thing. Can you craft you a palm tree? Um, I forget what resources it takes. But yeah, I am capable of crafting it. Ooh, some clothing items. A wallpaper. I'm actually missing quite a few of the normal, like, wallpapers and stuff. Some other clothing. Thank you. Water shoes. Slip on loafers. I do like filling out the catalog for the clothing. Actually, speaking of that, Kix is here. I need to go check hi to Kix. Also, did you happen to have... Uh, who was the person who said they had the carpet lady at their place? Okay, that's it. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go and, um... Check kicks real quick. What are you selling? Oh! I like those. Give me that. Also, that one bag looks like what's her name's bag. Oh, yeah, Cinnamon did. Oh, yeah, Cinnamon. Uh, let me know your code and I'll go head over. Or never mind, you're, we're friended. Uh, I can just go and search for you through friends. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I hate when I mash out with B. Uh, let's see. Let me grab um, this bag. It looks like uh, what's her name's bag. The carpet lady. I keep forgetting her name. It's called Carpet Lady. Camel that travels around with all the bags of carpets and things. It looks pretty much exactly like her bag. So much so, I almost kind of want to wear it and see what it looks like compared to hers. Yeah, it's, that's almost identical to her bag, or at least very similar. Let's see what the Nook Shop's up to. Anything interesting in here? I think you said you had Plasma Ball? Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if I have that color. Is that even a different color tint? I feel like it is. Let me just buy everything. Do you need this fan? Uh, let me know if you need this, Kyle. This ventilation fan. I don't have it in orange, so... There we go. We have it in orange now. I think that's the third color. I have it in white, I have it in green, and now I have it in orange. Also, I can't tell if that plasma ball is a different color, but just in case it is, I'm buying it. That's how I get so much useless junk. And similarly, I don't know if I have the color of this, so let me just buy it. Luckily, these are infinite, these bottom two. Yeah, let me know if you need the fan or not. I can just give it back to you. Okay, you don't. Just making sure. And I'll probably skip on checking the Able Sisters. I don't know. I guess I will. We're already here. Might as well. Oh, so I should probably check the DIY while we're here. Uh, House Guarantee has DIY. Hopefully, it's a new one we don't have. Right, I can show my island some in a bit. Oh, wait. This is your house. Why am I going in here? Whoops. I didn't even realize that wasn't a uh, thing. So, yeah, I saw the lights on. It was like, oh, that's uh, that's a uh, villager in there. And no, these are just houses. Why am I going up to like literally the ho only houses here? Uh, fail. Okay, the villagers. We got one right here. And then we'll check Evil Sisters real quick. Be on our way. Hopefully we have a DIY we don't have here. Okay, you're not DIYing. Bear yeah, Ireland's pretty much in a state of um, not nearly complete. <laughs> it's very work in progress at the moment. It's getting there. Very, very work in progress. Oh, this is another house, isn't it? Gosh, the amount of player houses I've accidentally walked into is insane. I think that's the third player house I accidentally walked into. Pretty cool houses, though. I'm still in the process of upgrading all of mine. Uh, we almost have a third max house. I'm trying to go one max house at a time. Uh, okay. Let me go to the actual villagers. Because I keep running into random, wrong, incorrect houses. Okay. Uh, this one could be one. Let's say hi to these. Okay. 
Oh, your uh, online ends up expiring? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. I think it's uh, $20 a year if you get it for the yearly thing. It's also a family plan if you have multiple people in your household. But you would have to have like a lot of people in your household for it to be worth it. You would have to share it with friends. But yeah, it's only $20 a month for the normal thingy. It's like less than two dollars a um less than two dollars a month. It's definitely worth it. Okay, uh sorry, I still can't find it. Which house did I not check? This one. It's taking so much time, but this should be the DIY house. Uh, so you don't have enough D houses to have DIYs, but I'm pretty sure you start getting at five. What? There's no house there's no DIYs. Huh. Interesting. Unless I forgot to check a house, but I'm pretty sure it was all of them. Anyways. I'll be on my way. Thank you for- Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me check your bills real quick. Then I'll be on my way. Looks like someone's leaving. Do I have any space flooring or wallpaper uh, that you're willing to sell? I can craft some of them. I don't have any um, available, though. I believe they require large fragments, and we still have found zero large fragments. We might find our first one today. However, the first large fragment I get is going to be creating a moon. That is the very first thing I will be doing with my large star fragment. 100%. Because it's probably the coolest thing we can craft with a large star fragment currently. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it yet, but it's a pretty cool object. It wasn't one of the trailers for the game. I've never showed it on stream before, though. I almost want to get that skull hat. Just because it would be a cool decoration for some areas. Uh, oh, wait, there is a DIY? Okay, let me know where it is once I get out. Uh, I'm just looking for um, the skull hat real quick. So we'll grab that. Anything else we want while we're here? Doesn't look like it. I think we're just picking skull hat and be on our way then. As far as clothing is concerned. Sounds like a plan. Yes, no, do not put it on. There we go. I can make you a moon if you have the material for it. It requires 15 star fragments and one uh, large fragment. Though so you said you didn't have online, so there's no way I could give it to you, though, without it. Uh, but yeah, do you have a DIY house here? If you do, let me know where it is. I, I thought I checked every house. Oh, was it this house? Oh, no DIY? Ah, uh, okay. Anyways, I'll catch you later, then. Thank you for everything. Greatly appreciate it. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, then we'll need to go check our beach again. And see if we got anything good. I'm going to wear this backpack for a little bit. It's not going to be our permanent backpack. However, uh, I want to see how close it looks like. What's her name's backpack? It looks kind of similar. It's not exactly the same, but it's themed very similarly. I actually like this backpack a lot. I'm not going to be keeping this as a permanent one for this outfit. However, I do plan on actually making an outfit based around this backpack, most likely. Like an explorer outfit. We are definitely going to be doing that at some point. And this backpack will be part of that outfit, for sure. Oh, we still got rain. Oh, well, we don't need to water our flowers, at least. Plus, that reminds me, I didn't check out on my hybrids blacks today. I need to see how they're doing. I'm pretty sure I've got water them with golden water and can. I might have gotten to. Well, if nothing else, at least we'll get more blacks, breed more blacks. Because unless we do it with the golden, uh, they will not become golden. Those become more blacks, which is not a bad thing, necessarily. Uh, yes, we will be live on Thursday. We'll be playing a lot of different games. I'm not sure how much Roger could be playing Animal Crossing. Obviously, we'll be getting a pretty major patch that day. However, uh, we will be streaming a lot of different games, not just Animal Crossing that day. Like, we're probably going to be streaming, like, ten different games, if not more. Like, we're going to be doing an absurd amount. Probably the most we've ever streamed in one day. Both time-wise and number of game-wise. Okay, anyways. Um, let's go store away everything we don't currently need in our inventory, which is all of this, pretty much. Uh, except for travel pouches. You want to put the travel pouch down for now. Uh, actually, all the clothing I do want to put over here, too. To give to our other account later. Uh, let's see. Even those, even though they're pretty cool. Wait, what other clothing items do I not need right now? We don't need that. We don't need this. 
least not immediately. Oh, I actually do really like those shoe colors, though. I think I already have a pair, though, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. It's hard to keep track of what I have and don't have at this point on some things. Oh, I definitely don't have those shoes. Actually, I believe that's the blue version of what we're wearing right now, actually. Isn't it? I'm sure it is. Isn't it? Uh, slip on loafers. Uh, yeah. Oh, we might actually need to hold on to this in our thingy. It's, um... It's the, um... A blue variant of, um... Oh, I might need to hold on to these. Yeah, it's the blue variant of uh, what we're wearing right now. Cool. I think I'll stick with white for now, though. However, I do need to put these near the side where I'll actually not get rid of it. Um... Where'd I put the bag? Oh, yeah, I still have it over here. Let me just pull off this right over here for now, I guess. Just so I don't forget about them. Put it over here, I guess. Um... Yeah, it's a blue variant of what I'm already wearing. Which works for the outfit. Let's see, circuit board flooring, I think I have. Blue camo wall, I don't believe I have, though. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I would know what that looks like. This is the camouflage thing. I was like, camo? Wait, what's that? It's like, oh yeah, camouflage. Oh, pretty cool. Do I have some clothing that kind of looks like that? I put away. Oh, wait, I forgot the helmet, too. Oh, that was the skeleton hood. What's this other hel helmet? A bun wig? Okay, let's go claim more of our stars. We got, uh. So far, we found 20. It seems to be coming in uh, sections of 10, apparently. So hopefully, we have another 10 now. We should. Yeah, I'm getting rid of Stinky. Um, not next. Next will be uh, Drake. We'll get rid of. Stinky will be the last one we get rid of. Uh, Stinky was actually the very first villager we had. Oddly enough. He's the last of our very first two villagers. We already got rid of the other one. But, um, yeah, we'll be getting rid of Stinky, too. These are not aligned whatsoever. I'm just looking to uh, store them later. Okay, anyways, we need to find our other two fossils. But more importantly, let's go check our beach. Because I need to go claim some of our stars. Well, so far, nothing on the beach. Did they not respawn? Might be based on the timer. Oops, that almost looked like a six. That's not too big a deal. I don't think there's anything in the ocean. Actually, I don't think there's anything currently in rain that I actually need. It's unfortunate given that it's raining. Well, so let me, uh, while we're over here, let me go grab rocks. I still haven't taken rocks yet today. So let's start doing that. We're already right here anyways. So might as well. Oh, also, tomorrow we can start getting colorful tools, which would be kind of cool. Uh, we still need to go get the achievement for crafting a certain amount of tools, though. However, we will have access to colorful tools starting tomorrow. Yeah, DIY tools. We still... Gosh, we gotta make a lot of DIY tools. Never mind. Maybe we still just keep making DIY tools. I forgot how many you actually need to make. It is absurdly high how many you need to make. I'm not sure what the easiest method really is for that. I guess finding a lot of sticks and then using iron on them would probably be one of the better ways of mass creating tools. Hey, you gotta create like 2,000, 3,000 tools to get all the achievements. So even though we can get some colorful tools and get them automatic max, because colorful tools count as iron tools, uh, plus they're a lot cooler. Um, I haven't been buying any just because they're technically time skip items, and we've been doing zero time skip items, of course. But um, yeah, they're theoretically time skippable, or only time skippable. Because unlike furniture items, which you can randomly get from other things, uh, there's no way to randomly get those. Which is why I've deliberately made sure not to use them. Even though they're the same thing as iron tools, they just look slightly different. No, I had never had that bunny. Though, once we only have one house left that we need to fill, we will just be cycling various amiibos there. Just to see what their DIYs are and just to say hi to them. Plus, I don't have a definitive tenth that I know I want yet. Phil was like the last one that I kind of knew. Oh, I probably want that person. But the rest of them are kind of iffy on who I actually want. Though we're apparently getting new characters as of uh, next patch, so... Um, yeah, we'll see if any of them... Well, technically they're not new. There's old ones returning that for whatever reason weren't already in the game. At least they're not DLC locking it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I still need to go make a double bed for... Uh, what's his name, Phil? Probably do that before I forget. All we need for that is 30 wood. So literally just grab a stack of wood and 
We're good to go. Expensive craft he wants. We should have enough spare wood. Not like we're low. Oh, we're kind of getting low. Not super low, but it could be higher. Hey, where's the double bed? Um, right there. Wooden double bed. That's what he wanted, right? Pretty sure. So what kind of customization does this thing have? Well, so I really wish from that mini you could go right into customization. Why there isn't an option I do not know. Would have been very convenient to have it like that. Uh, so you can change the wood color to quite a few different things. You better be able to for how expensive it is. And, uh, oh, patterns. Something we haven't really messed around with. So we're on cool patterns right now. What other variants does she have? Wait, you can get more patterns from her? Oh, that is cool. You can actually get multiple different types of patterns from her then. Like presets for these things. Oh, that is cool. So we literally got the cool one. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this one's probably my favorite of them. Kind of looks like um, snake scales. This one's also kind of cool. Camo could work under something. Not this, though. But, um, yeah, not bad. Obviously, I'm not customizing it. I just wanted to see what the options were. And also, you can put custom design on it. As you can with pretty much anything. Oh, it actually has some lighting going on on it naturally. Because that's pure black, yet it still looks slightly different at areas. Because of the lighting on it. Oh, so what do we have in the mail? Don't we have a new uh, uh, song? Uh, Blanche sent us something. I was about to catch the most uh, exquisite bug, but it uh, eluded me at the very last second. I know I shouldn't give up, but I'm terribly frustrated. Thank you for letting me vent, darling. You're the best. Also, doesn't someone want a fish from us? Oh, yeah, actually, we have multiple different new ones. I forgot. We literally ordered five because I had a friend uh, let me touch uh, some of her songs. So we were able to... These should all be new ones unless I accidentally rebought another one. Also, that's that mini fridge I accidentally literally gave away to someone after I got one. So the only mini fridge we have, I think, is in yellow. So we can actually use it for feng shui if we really want to. Okay. Um, wait, what? Oh, I was going to say, I haven't opened them yet. I was going to say, we should have five songs. I was going to say, did I already buy five that I already had? No, it's because uh, I accidentally um, I accidentally failed there. Okay, now we can do it. Oh, one of them's a repeat. I already had Hypno. Let me do these one at a time so we can hear what they sound like. This one's actually not that bad. Wait, is this in Smash? A variant of this? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm like 90% sure a variant of this is in Smash. Not exactly the same though. Not even close, but like a, a variant of it is. This one's actually not that bad. Now I almost want to load up Smash to see what it sounds like in Smash. <laughs> I know something really similar is in Smash at least. This actually not bad at all. I'm not sure if it's going to beat out our Condor. Because Condor thematically just works for everything. Whereas this might be almost too upbeat. <laughs> I like it. Probably my second favorite now. I gotta see Safari. This could work for our museum area. That's yeah, okay. I like that part. The whole song was that. Nah.
Uh, why is it an 8-bit? I believe it's from the very first Animal Crossing. And you have to keep in mind, the very first Animal Crossing came out on N64. So quite a few of these songs are really ancient. And while they've been changed a little bit, um, they, they, they're still very similar to their original form. Not all these are that old. But uh, some of these do go back literally to 2001. I think one of them even mentions it. Marine Song 2001. But um, yeah, some of these are really ancient. Sounds very familiar. Like, excessively familiar. Where does this play a lot? This is excessively, excessively familiar sounding. I can't pin down where I've heard this a billion times before, though. Is this the shop music? Obviously not the exact variant regardless, but... Gosh, what's that from? Anyways, this is definitely my favorite one of the ones we just got. Second favorite overall. We'll let it play today. In our town. Theoretically, we can set it to shuffle and only have the songs we like in there. Once we have all songs, and just store the rest away. And then we'll just shuffle through our favorite songs. If I put shuffle on now, I don't think you can set it to specific ones. I don't think you can. Oh wait, can you? No. It shuffles everything in your playlist. That's what I thought. However, if you only have like two or five things in your playlist, it'll just shuffle those. vibing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I already had the hypno. Anyways, let me go uh, find our other fossils. See if we have stars on our beach. Probably not. Nope. Where are my stars? Oh yeah, you want a double bed. Here, I made you a double bed. Give me something good, please. I think we can recruit her tomorrow. She'll be replacing Drake. I mean, he'll be replacing Drake. I'm so used to all of the uh, ostriches being female. Almost all of them are, but he's male. What are you gonna give us? No, stop giving me clothes! Like, it's fine having some new clothes, but when every single animal in our entire town just always wants to give us clothes, it's a little bit annoying. I think I have like three of the exact same of some clothings. It's nice when we get like different variants, but some of it we just never will need. I don't seem to have star fragments right now. Oh yeah, I still need to go do my other two thingies. Uh, but well, the other thing I want to go check for is where on earth are our holes? So we got weeds. Also, I don't think we're going to maintain a five-star island. I've actually considered um, not bothering just because the restrictions that that puts. Because that will allow us to decorate with weeds. It will also allow us to keep items dropped on the ground. Um, so I'm actually probably not going to maintain five-star, I don't think. I've been considering not doing it, because the only real benefit that I can currently see in the current state of the game is while well, you maintain 5-star, every 7th day that you've had 5-star, you get one of those little plant things. But, um, you can just buy them from other people if you really want them. And we already have 4 of them. 3 for our museum and 1 just randomly on our hill. Or maybe I'll get a few more just so we have more to decorate our hill. But aside from that, why do we really need it? Uh, there is no other reason. It's not even that valuable. I think they only worth like a couple hundred thousand or something. I'm not sure exactly what their value is, but I know it's not like too expensive uh, because they technically have no direct value unlike other flowers that you can pluck. 
because it's impossible to pluck them. But, um... Yeah, we're, we're probably just not going to have 5-star. It's too annoying to maintain. And there's a lot more we can decorate our island for if we don't. Because it allows us to use weeds for our natural area. And it allows us to drop items on ground. Without being penalized. Which also allows us to make our little tool area in the bottom left. Because we cannot make that tool area in the bottom left without um, by sacrificing 5-star. Okay, where on earth is our other fossil? Don't tell me it's stuck in tree line. It probably is. That's never up where I want the hole. That's the exact same spot. Oh, there we go. What do you have to say? Reactions, nice. What do we have? A wah? A oh, shocks, nice. Another reaction to go with our reactions. Okay, let me wait till he moves. Don't need him ruining my rock. Oh, or I'll ruin my own rock. No worries, I got this. Okay, let me do some safety precautions. I'm gonna do a hole there. <coughs> just to make sure he doesn't walk through. It's just kind of strategic, putting down a, um, a pattern around your rock so you don't accidentally um, uh, hit the two and make a hole. Because um, you can accidentally make a hole next to your rock. However, if you have a pattern next to both sides, that will happen. You won't make a hole. It'll still delay you, but you don't make a hole. Which delays even more. Plus, it makes an empty spot thingy. Hello, Elite Gaming! Welcome! Which reminds me, we need these little clam things. There's also a rumor that this will be used in uh, seafood eventually. Or for uh, crafting food. Uh, food crafting might actually finally be coming to Animal Crossing. It has never been in any Animal Crossing game. However, it's a very popular concept to have in games like this, like in Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley. Um, they had like a pretty expansive uh, cooking list. But uh, Animal Crossing has never had cooking in it, despite all the ingredient-like things. Actually, gosh, everyone loves this song in town. But, um, um, yeah, Animal Crossing has never had it. But there's a rumor that it actually is going to become an Animal Crossing. Because there's hints for it in the files and everything. We're probably not getting anytime soon. It could be like a month, two months, three months. But uh, it does seem like it's going to happen, most likely. Uh, anyways, I need to find my other dig spot. It's probably stuck in tree line, which is very unfortunate. I need to do these trees, too. Probably get that next, actually. Actually, you know what? Let's do that now. We're already right here. Actually, do we have a bug catching objective? Uh, because we have to catch five bugs, and oh, what do we do? That works out perfectly because there's five wasp nests. So it synergizes perfectly with a uh, daily uh, catch five insect uh, objective. Also, one nice thing about it too is during rain, where it's more annoying to catch insects, um, wasps still spawn regardless. So even though it's raining, uh, it does not affect the five wasp spawn that they're going to be getting. Which makes it really easy to get that task done. Okay, right, so let's go do it then. I think that's all the branches, which we'll put to pitfall seeds. Seems to be the main thing I use it for. Also, as I mentioned, I got rid of my other trees, so these are the only five. So seven of these should have something good. Oh, we got a rock guitar. I didn't actually have a guitar yet. Pretty cool. But yeah, uh, seven of these will have something good. The other eight will have junk, like these little coins. But uh, two of these should be items. Five of them should be wasp nests. The rest should be random junk. Well, apparently, all of them are going to be wasp nests at the end, apparently. Uh, plasma ball. We already have that. That's a different color. There's wasp nest. Wasp nest number one. Also, I wonder if that bug thing, the bag bug, can appear. Let's need a couple more copies of it. Lost nest number two. Also, these trees will be uh, in a different play eventually. This area will be looking more natural looking. I currently have it just in a ray for now, but uh, it will be placed randomly. And more decoratively in the near future. Work in progress. We'll get there. What is that? Third or fourth? I kind of lost track. Doesn't really matter though. Let's do all the trees. Alright, I believe that's the last one. Uh, just in case, let's shake the last tree as well. We easily. T oh, I can't carry it anymore. Well, we'll swap it for something. What do we not need? Uh, let's just drop a uh, random shell for now, I guess. Or here, have a weed. There you go. Hey, that was all of them, though. Uh, that was all five, right? Okay, let's go store some junk away. 
Gosh, we keep filling up with junk so quickly. Feels weird not having access to a shop. And we need to go find that other fossil so we can go store all that junk away as well. Oh, okay, what do we need to do here? We need to uh, get rid of that music as well. Oh yeah, I forgot, we gotta store, do something with our wasps, don't we? I forgot, we can't sell them today. Gosh, the amount of nuisance of not having a shop is very high. Almost forgot what it's like not having a shop again. We had to for one day during the early game as well, if I'm not mistaken. However, that was early game where uh, something like that didn't matter as much. Now when we're so used to it constantly, it's so weird not having one. I'm still holding on to the stars because we should be getting more. Uh, okay, let me see what these two look like. I never did check. Let's do it right here, I guess. Plasma ball. Uh, I think they all come in the same color variant. Uh, and then what's the other one? Rock guitar. Pretty cool. First time we got that item. I think it comes in a couple different colors. We can't customize it though. Uh, and then we'll go store the wasp outside and uh, put the other thing outside as well. And hopefully we'll randomly find a large star fragment today. We should still have beach drops. Not sure why they're not respawning though. I'm pretty sure we have more than what has already spawned. Unless there's just a cap per day and it rolls over to the next day. I am not sure. And then we'll put our wasps over here somewhere. Probably stack them over here. Doesn't really matter. Just give them somewhere to go. There we go. Okay, let's go find that other thing. Pretty sure it's stuck in our tree lines. So let me go double check them. If they're not, I don't know where it is right now. Not over there. Not over there. Nope. Nope. Still no. Be somewhere else then. Not seeing it. Or it's really trapped in our tree lines. Yeah, I am not seeing it. But we do still have one more randomly somewhere. That's why I wanted to check. Is that the over here? Theoretically, it could be trapped like right here. Nope. Or over here. Nope. Maybe somewhere is in between these, because I didn't check all the way up here. <coughs> because I kind of assume, assumed they're all turnips, but we do have a couple gaps in here. That could be the dick spot. Yep, that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Because we do have a couple gaps here and there. Hiding on us. Okay, did we get any more blacks? Oh, we did get a gold. I did water it with gold. I thought so. Didn't know for sure. But yeah, we definitely watered these with gold yesterday. I don't need to remember to do it again today. We just make sure all the sides are even. So we'll go put one right here. And move the other turn up. That might get in the way, way of hybriding. And then drop this one as well. There we go. And obviously we'll move the gold one to our museum area temporarily for storage. And there we go. Now they're ready to go hybrid again. Okay, anyways. Uh, let me just drop this over here. Go bring this to our museum for now. I'm not sure where we're going to be putting them after that. Only three of them are likely to actually stay in our museum. I'm waiting till more crops come into the game before we really figure out what we're doing. However, um, I don't know. We might just keep it like this. We'll see. The problem is it's kind of um, allocated a little bit weirdly how we have it right now. Also, I do eventually want to put bushes around them, which are coming in two days. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. For now, we'll just be filling it with gold. Temporarily. Storage for our golds. Who knows, maybe it will be permanent. We'll see. 
But anyways, uh, so we did that, we did that, we did most of the dailies. Let me go identify these. Hopefully we get some junk that we need for our museum, our second museum. Since we're trying to get two copies of everything. Not sure if they're going to be adding more fossils into the future. It might almost be a good idea to start saving our unidentified soon. But for now, we'll identify them. So I believe the next museum patch is just adding, um, just adding art. I don't think it's adding anything to fossils. But we don't know confirmation yet wise, so probably should start keeping them at some point. Let's see, we did get anything interesting? Any more T-Rex parts or anything? Any more of that really big dinosaur that has like branches stores or something? Mammoth skull. We got like a billion mammoth skulls. We need more of the bottom half. Uh, no, nothing too interesting, I don't think. Okay. But we'll drop it for our storage account then. Oh, put it over in storage. Okay, next order of business. Um, should probably double check DIY. Who had it earlier? Because I think DIY might have cycled to a new person. I think it does around noon. Oh, wait, never mind. I already passed noon. We've been past noon. I forget what the exact time frames that it does on. I'm not sure if there is a designated amount. Same as these star fragments. We should have more on the beach soon. Pretty sure I did more than just 30 last night. Or 20 last night. What was that? Yeah, that's 20. We definitely did way more than 20. And this is a cap or time limit to when it comes. Yeah, do we need to go into building to despawn it? Or respawn it, I should say. That reminds me, did we talk to everyone yet today? I don't think we did. Still need to catch that random dace. Gotta craft two more items. Gotta get a random balloon. Wait, what was the bug objective? Uh, let's see. We gotta catch a wharf bro. Oh, that's an annoying one. Especially since we already went around our perimeter. It wasn't Drake. Who's crafting today? Oh, yeah, we never did say hi to... Um, to uh, Sterling, did we? Sterling's uh, in his house. He's moving in. I like his wall. Yo, it's me, Sterling. How are you? Craw. So here I am, uh, Dragon Den. At last, I gotta say, I was pumped to get your invite at the campsite. Tell you what, you ever need to uh, move something heavy, uh, you uh, uh, you call me. I'll be there, no questions asked. Nice. But yeah, uh, uh, we got Corviknight. That will forever be his nickname. Corviknight. Best bird. Though, um... Gladys is best bird for this game. Uh, let's see. Who's crafting? I can't remember. Though it could be someone new at this point. Well, I guess we'll go check Drake. I'm pretty sure he wasn't crafting earlier. Oh, yes, he was. He was making orange wall earlier, wasn't he? If he's still crafting, that means uh, we likely don't have a new recipe right now, unfortunately. Yep, he's still doing orange wall. Fail. Yep, he's still doing orange wall. He's still doing orange wall. He's being evicted very soon. <laughs> Actually, he'll be evicted as of tomorrow. He'll be in boxes tomorrow. So say goodbye to Drake. It's the last day he'll be here. We should probably just uh, ignore label all day. Let's see, what's her task for today? Oh, we meet again. You know, there's still so much to learn about design. In fact, I wonder if maybe you might help me uh, with a style exercise. Uh, I'll uh, call out a specific fashion theme. I know, and you'll do it based on this item. Sure, what's the theme? Uh, let's see. Party outfit. Oh, I wonder if um, wands count. A royal shirt. Interesting. Royal shirt look like. Interesting. I think that's actually a pretty expensive item, isn't it? I know royal crown is worth like the most of any um, clothing item, I believe. I would never actually use royal crown because it's really associated with um, glitching the game. Like it, it is really synonymous with. Uh, you know, oh gosh, what's that one word? But um, 
it correlates really heavily with um, cheating in this game. So I definitely wouldn't want to use it uh, or wear it because it's a very, it was a very common glitch item for the start of this game. Uh, let's see. And the only people that tend to have it were people that glitched the game. Because not only could you have not gotten it early because you would need Able Sisters and have time travel for it, but you would also have needed to have um, uh, gotten like a lot of money because it costs like a million something. And people got it on like day one with time travel and stuff. And um, you also had to have done the glitch, which would have... Um... Gosh, why do I have a random play now? I almost want to give it back to him. You also would have done the glitch to have uh, gotten a lot of money from it. Or at least that was the common thing that was done with it. Anyways, uh, let me just randomly put this play here. Why not? Anyways, uh, she wanted a party outfit. I'm not sure if wands count. I almost want to go set a wand and go set to uh, uh, our um, Easter stuff. And I'm pretty sure that would count. But uh, I don't know. I guess we'll do our task for once. Let's go make a party outfit, I guess. With whatever we have left. Do we even have anything to get changed into still? We should. Obviously use the royal thing because that's what she wanted. Um... Okay, uh, what else do we want? Party outfit. Party, party, party. It's like vacation. Frog cap. <laughs> Why not? It's party like. Oh, you can't stack the two of them. I can't, oh, gosh, so many things don't stack that seems like they should stack. I'm pretty sure that would count more for party. It's even called funny glasses. Uh, let's see. Neon would probably count. The party shoes. This is such a weird outfit. Um, I think that would all count. God, uh, gosh, how many things get rid of your hat thing? Um, is that fine? Sure. Oh, backpack. Do we have any... Um, Backpack that's party. I'm not seeing a party vibe anywhere here. I don't know. What's a female party item? small purse for a party. Oh wait, why didn't you? No! <laughs> I hate when I do that. You have to click plus. The struggle. The struggle is real. Okay, let's do this again. One item at a time. So we'll do that purse. Uh, we'll do this. It looks party-like. Uh, neon. Funny glasses. Um, cherry hat. Um... I don't know, is there anything like more party like than that? Jester. I'm not sure if she likes color synergy. <laughs> what color synergy? Uh, let's see. Royal. Oh, yeah, we need pants to go with it. Gosh, I got no pants. Oh well, we'll just wear that. Um. And then we just need uh. Or was that everything? Never mind, that's everything. Let's just go with this. She likes it, she likes it. <laughs> if not, oh well. What an outfit. <laughs> what an outfit. <laughs> well then. Oh, she gave us an item too. Oh, label hat. Nice. A bell. Let's see what her hat looks like. Gosh, that's big. The hat's almost bigger than her whole body. Look at how big the hat is. <laughs> Hold up. What does this look like if we put it on the ground? This is like almost literally bigger than her body. I feel like it's gonna downscale if I put it on the ground. 
It looks like it downscaled slightly. Well, though, still look at that. Especially from the back end. It's like half our body size is a hat. <laughs> That's a massive hat. Anyways, uh, all the school goes to storage. What's interesting is it still only takes up one tile. Okay, let's go change back to our normal outfit. That's not how you do it. I wonder if we actually can use wand outfits for it. I've never tried. Oh yeah, I forgot my hat's on my other thing. Um... I hate doing it. You have to take so much time just to change your outfit. I'll need to try that sometime with wands. I'm not sure if you're allowed to use wands for it. I feel like you're not allowed to. But I'm not 100% certain if you are or not allowed to wand it. You might need to try it next time. Should probably try it this time just to see. Okay, anyways. Um, next order of business. Um, I don't know. What do we focus on next? What are you two talking about? Ah, Tessa. Absolutely perfect timing. Who's got the better hairstyle? Apollo or me? Apollo. He's a bald ego. There you go. I knew you'd come through for this old silver chicken. Uh, Tacit? Gah. Alright, alright. I knew all along that Apollo had great hair. He doesn't have any hair! I guess technically he does. He, he's supposed to be a bald eagle, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. This uh, just makes uh, me even more determined to up my uh, own hair game uh, to the salon. Wait, are you hinting that we're getting a salon? <laughs> Probably not, but um, that was a feature in past games, the salon thing. I wouldn't really care if we got a salon or not. Like, a lot of people would love it. I personally couldn't care less. <laughs> There's already a weird way to change hair in, your, in the game. You don't need even more ways. You already got, like, dozens of hairstyles. But some people like having even more options. It seems kind of redundant with how the game's currently set up, though. Having a hair salon. In past games, it made a little bit more sense with how it was set up. I really don't feel like this game needs it, though. Well, you never know. We're slowly... We're actually, Red's... Uh, gosh, Red is probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most, oddly enough. He is... Um, he's basically like the anti tom Nook. Not exactly anti tom Nook, but... Um, I don't know. They, they, they have a lot of similarities while also being, like, extremely different from each other. She kinda, it kind of reminds me of, like, the uh, Phoebe and... Uh, and Gladys kind of dynamic. Like they have a lot of opposites while still being similar. And um, the um, red is like the other capitalist, but he's like the more corrupt version of capitalism. Oh, how do we have double balloon? I wonder if our uh, luck things are actually helping with balloon drops. It feels like it might have effect on it. I'm not sure. Well, so where are the rest of our stars? We should have more stars than that. Or maybe there's a limit to how many stars you can get per night. There might be. I'm not sure how it works. I guess I love that song. I think I still like Con Kiki Condor more, but I'm just doing that for now for a change of pace. So stars either respawn at a certain rate or something, or there's a day limit. Because I know for sure we've done more than 20. But uh, they only give us 20 so far. Oh, we'll find out in another hour or two. If you don't have it in like two more hours, then uh, yeah, it's definitely not going to spawn more today. For now, I'm just going to get rid of all this into our thing. Into the inventory you go. Oh, so should I craft the both these little items? I should probably should eventually. I'm not sure if I want them now just because they're going to take away storage uh, space, which is very limited right now. 
Not to mention we can't even finish them all until 10 months from now anyways. Uh, but yeah, I really need to get more of the Scorpius one once it comes that time. Obviously, I won't be buying it prior because it's a time travel item. But um, I really need the Scorpius fragment so that we can go make the uh, lamp. Well, how many star pieces do we have right now? We're actually at a pretty decent amount. We're at 51 right now. But I do need every 51 of them because they will go down very quick once we start actually crafting stuff out. Uh, also, a couple sets require it for whenever we sell full sets. Oh, so hello, name so long I have no clue how to even start to pronounce it. Welcome. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's the moon? I want this moon so badly. Does anyone have a large star fragment? What do you want for it? I have yet to naturally find one ever. But, um... Yeah, I need it for... Well, we can make this without it. We can theoretically make this without it, but I don't have the rocket. And I don't have the rest of parts yet. Uh, this requires large, plus I wouldn't even want it. This requires large, and I don't even want it. Uh, that's kind of pointless. But it's a pretty cool bag, but it's pretty expensive for what it is. Star wand we already have, but we don't can't craft it ourselves yet. And the only other two things would be the two monthly seasonal items. The uh, Eris uh, rocking chair, and then the... Uh, Taurus uh, bathtub, which actually became available as of yesterday, uh, if you're not time traveling. Actually, today was the earliest you could have had it. Um, so we got it the earliest possible time, oddly enough. But today is the earliest you could have had the Taurus bathtub with zero time travel. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it actually fills up with water, but uh, nice little thing. I don't know, maybe we'll go craft both of them. I don't really need them. And they're part of a full set, obviously. It's not really that useful. They do look pretty cool. If you have them all together in a room, it kind of works pretty nicely. But them just individually don't really work that well for decoration, I don't feel. Also, we never did make this large bear. I have a friend that needs to give me the uh, Papa Bear, the large one. Um, I never got around to trading with her, though. I need to do that eventually so we can make a really big customizable bear. I wonder if we can put custom designs on it. That'd be kind of interesting. Also, I really want the moon. That's why we actually need the large star fragment. The moon, the moon. Probably actually the coolest thing that you can make out of the entire space series, I would say, is the moon. I'm not sure of any item that's actually cooler than it from the entire space series. But it's my personal favorite anyways. Even has, like, detail on it. Like, the little crevices and stuff. It's not just, like, all the same color. But we don't have any large star fragments. <laughs> We'll get them eventually. Eventually. Like, okay, still nothing on our beach? Probably. My oh, seashells respawn. No stars, though. That's unfortunate. Well, they didn't take trees yet today. Not sure if we're gonna run any islands today or not. Not sure if we really need to. Oh, so did I talk to everyone yesterday? You should be 32 if I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Unlike yesterday. Drake hiding in his house, going to bed early. How could you? Yeah, we're, we seem to not be getting any more stars. Even though we definitely wished on way more than um, 20. Maybe it's capped per day. I'm not sure exactly how stars work in that regard. They want us to change her outfit. Oh, is that a six size? No, that's way too small. From the angle, it kind of looked like it, but I was like, nope, definitely not. Ooh, clams. I am so tempted. Must get fishing baits. Still needs fishing bait for, uh, particularly for next month, once it rolls over. Uh, there's uh, uh, two pure fish that we need to go catch uh, five copies of. We'll do it on the first rainy day on a, um, on, um, on the first rainy day of the thing, of, uh, March, or, you know, the first rainy day of, uh, May, I mean. I'm not sure if, um, when you're using fishing bait, if rain even really helps much with it. Because it would also add something that would kind of get rid of the drop table. It kind of gets in the way of the drop table. 
could be a little bit annoying, more so than anything. So we might need to go make some axes, because we can't go and uh, buy them, because uh, Tom Nook's place is closed. We can't even buy them if we wanted to. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a sea bass. I don't care if it's not. <laughs> it's only 15,000 bells. We could live without 15,000 bells. But I think we can go claim all of our trees now. Before I forget later. That's like the last mean daily I haven't done. I end up creating this house over here, but we'll do that later. Doesn't have to be now. I should probably drop the money for him, if nothing else, now. Uh, maybe I'll do that now. I think he needs like a million something. I forget. Let's see, what house upgrade is he on right now? That'll tell about how much we need. I believe it's about 1.2 and a half million. Um, or it's one, it's uh, 1,250, I believe, for the next upgrade. Yeah, he has the three side rooms. So that means we now need um, 1,250 or so. Uh, or sorry, uh, one million, or you know, one, one and a fourth million is about how much we need for this. And then for the right side, we need, um, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. The last one's 2.5. We don't have to pay to 2.5, though. So, yeah, this is the last payment we have to do, and I believe it's 1.2 million. So, let me just go grab, like, 1.5 million and just grab it all and give it to it. And that should be enough. And then after that debt payment, we're actually paid off because you don't have to do the final debt. Uh, I don't... I forget what happens when you do the final debt. However, whenever you're upgrading side accounts for storage or if you're going to decorate them just to have another house to decorate, um, you... I don't believe you actually have to pay off the final debt. Um, I don't think there's really any need to, really. Um, so let's go do that, then. Let's go give him the monies he needs, which is about 1.2 million. We got 1.5, just in case. And just drop it all in front of the house. Let's see, do we have anything in here? No, we didn't have anything there today, for whatever reason. Uh, anyways, I'm looking for ABD. I want to withdraw. Gosh, even with all of our money invested in turnips, we still have like 27 million. And I believe it costs us about 3 million per house or so to get it to that point. It's about 3 million. Because you don't have to do the last 2.5 million. I believe it's about 3 million per house or so over the course of six days for every house that we do. And we still have four more houses we need to go do that too. So it's another 12 million or so. Which isn't that bad for having a whole other new house to upgrade uh, to go and decorate with. And we can also use it for 1,600 storage, which is very beneficial. However, we're mostly doing it just to decorate these. Storage house should almost be enough storage. I say that, though. But given that we're going for, like, literally everything in the game, I am probably going to be needing these other houses for various storage. We're going to be having them more allocated towards certain storages. For example, I'm going to have one house that is dedicated just literally to clothing. And then another one probably to side furniture stuff that I don't need, like excess furniture. And then other to like past event stuff, like holiday stuff, like Easter, all that. Like every single one will have a really specific storage to them. Um, just so we know. Okay, let me double check. How many bags was that again? I'm pretty sure that was enough. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait, why don't I grab 12? I need to grab more. Uh, I believe it's 1.25. I need at least one more bag. Why did I grab so little? I guess I was sidetracked by my own talking. Uh, how do you give presents, but in bags? Um, I don't think you can gift your villagers bags. Which reminds me, I haven't gifted any of my villagers presents today. Oh yeah, we could always give away all my useless fish that I can't sell. I forgot. We can actually use them for something. Also, oh, didn't someone want a tiger fish? I don't think they're getting that tiger fish today. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who was that that wanted a tiger fish? Someone in my village wanted a tiger fish today. Or that zebra fish, I mean. Whatever it was called. Alright, that reminds me. Is that something else I need to do today? I need to check my songs that I currently have and compare it to the ones I have cataloged and then buy the ones that I can uh, do. Uh, because we're getting pretty close to every song in the game. I believe there's about a hundred songs, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around there. And how many we're currently at? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, um, 32, 39, 
46. We have 46 songs. So we're about halfway to all song completion. We're almost halfway to uh, all songs. So that means we still have half a catalog to fill up here. And the only excessively good ones I really like are uh, Go KK Rider, DJ KK. Uh, obviously my favorite, KK Condor. It also covers a lot of ground for themes that it can actually cover. Especially for like a museum theme that we're going with. It's like the most upbeat museum theme that would work. And Flamencio. I'm sure there's anything else I really like. Oh, still, uh, still cupcakes. It's really relaxing. Use this for some of our museum rooms, particularly like the underwater ones. Anyways, back to Condor. Yeah, we should go probably uh, give our villagers a bunch of random presents. Sounds like a plan. I just drop the bags here, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much where we drop them. As long as they're in this general area so I don't forget about them later. Uh, there we go. And I moved all the mailboxes away from all of our museum areas. I also actually removed it away from our storage house, too. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's one mailbox I can't move. Uh, I can move the one by my own town, uh, place if I really wanted to, though I'm not going to. Uh, however, this is one mailbox I, that will be impossible to move. Um, you are not allowed to move your um, mailbox until I believe you have the fourth house upgrade. And since this will be permanently a tent, which means no house upgrades at all, um, you will not be able to remove this mailbox from your tent. So this has to stay here forever. Uh, so we'll kind of need some kind of other wooden item to kind of balance it out at the front. Uh, obviously not this. Uh, I, I want to find this in a different color that matches the wood a little bit better. I hope this comes in a wood variant. Uh, I'm not sure if it even comes in different colors. What's it called again? Uh, let me check my catalog. Uh, shaved Ice Maker. Does Shaved Ice Maker have a color variant next to it? If it does, that probably means a wooden one exists. Um, let me double check. Shaved Ice Maker. Let's go look at eBay. <laughs> this game's eBay. Uh, shaved... Uh, Shaved Ice Maker. Yes, that one is the silver variant, which means hopefully there's a wooden variant. Um, because I need this in light wood. Something that matches that mailbox would actually be really good. Something that matches that mailbox and that sign while hopefully still having a, a mountain uh, is exactly what I need. Um, let's see. Shaved Ice Maker. Let me, let me cheat. Let me go look at a catalog of some things in-game. I haven't really been doing this much because I kind of wanted to be a surprise, like what kind of items we find. Uh, we're getting late enough in the game where I should probably just start looking some of them up. Uh, but one of them I want to look up right now is Shaved Ice uh, Color Variants. I want to see if this comes in a color that uh, I actually want. And if anyone has it, let me know. It might take me ages to go actually find it, but I'm not in, like a huge rush to go get it, obviously. But I do want it eventually. Uh, anyways, where on earth is Google? Uh, Google. And uh, what was it? Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons Shaved Ice. Was it Shaved Ice? Uh, let's see. Shaved Ice Machine. No, someone was looking for it. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Uh, is there not a full item list anywhere? There we go. What color variants do you have? No! Wait, why does one of them say any? It has any green and silver. I'm not sure what any means. Does that mean you can customize it? But there's a green and silver. Which means the color I want of this does not exist. How unfortunate is that? But yeah, it doesn't seem like it comes in wood. Oh. 
Unfortunate. Yeah, the, the way I want that item doesn't exist, apparently. Unless Red is going to be bringing it in. There is a possibility that uh, Red will actually be um, bringing in uh, every single... Uh, not every single color variant, but, you know, more color variants to uh, items that already exist. There's a possibility he might bring a new color variant to that. One can hope. Anyways. Over holes from all of our clams. But yeah, let me go grab some of my useless fish and start gifting it to people in our town. We haven't done gifts yet today. Hopefully we'll get some good furniture. Though I didn't really get any good um, high value fish today. You generally want to be doing that with something of value. I'm trying to think of an item I have a lot of that I could spam to people on my island. That actually has a good base value. Because I believe they the gift that they give back is so based solely on base value. What are you up to? Um, is it all right with you to... Sure, give me a gym tea, why not? How do you obtain old man oak roots in Gems of War? Um, you get them from the event objective on, uh, Friday. Uh, where we're gonna have the invasion event. Um, you can also get him randomly from Glory Gem Guild and VIP Chess. However, the easiest way to get him is to spend gems on the event this weekend. That starts on Friday. I believe there's a guaranteed drop of him on the second perk, which is, I believe, 90 gems. And you get more if you go further. It's not too hard to end up getting two of them. At least that once Friday gets here anyways. Uh, okay, what was we doing this? Let me just drop this over here randomly. Oh, we could use wasps. Wasps would actually work pretty good. Uh, wasps have a 2,500 value. Let's use this as our present gift. It's the highest value of anything we have, like, near infinite of. So, let's just go uh, get the other wasp from my storage. Did he just have a thing on him? Couldn't tell if that was rain or a flea. Back here. We're gonna annoy you. Oops. No, he doesn't have a flea. Never mind. Good thing I didn't hit him. This is yours. <laughs> have a wasp. Everyone have a wasp. Or there's five people anyways. Soccer, you- No! Useless junk. Give me furniture, please. Please, everyone, just give me furniture. Stop giving me useless junk. Okay, let's go get the other wasp. I think I accidentally stored one away. Okay, where are my wasp storage? Uh, critters. Oh, yeah, we could also do this butterfly things. Uh, they come back in two months, I believe. Not next month, but the following month. They're pretty good monies. Like, while everyone was doing, um, like, tarantulas that night, I actually found those to be better. Not only are they less annoying to try to get, but they, uh, have half the value. Which is still pretty close. And for how much easier they are to catch... And how more plentiful they are, it just seems way better to do them. Okay, uh, next thing we need to go do. Uh, let's go find some more people to go gift, I guess. See if we can get a good furniture item that we don't already have. Just running out of room here already. Okay, we already did you. Let me get rid of that so I don't have to accidentally bonk someone. Okay, I don't think we gifted to you yet. So here, have a wasp. To show how much we appreciate you. Here's a wasp. <laughs> I like how almost all of them like clothes. Oh, clothesline pole. Hopefully that's a different color variant we don't already have. I think that is nice. Not sure if I would want to ever use it, but it's technically new. Here, have a wasp. A cordless phone, cool. Hopefully, that's also a color we don't have. Thank you for the furniture. See, our best villagers actually give us good items. Ah, pink phone. That's new. Nice. That's 100% confirmed new. Thank you, Phoebe. 
Okay, let's find two other people that will hopefully give us something nice. Pierce! You know you'll want to give us something good. Please don't give us something useless. No! You failed us. You have failed us, Pierce. Okay, who else wants to try their luck? Uh, let's see, who's outside still? Well, we could always just do someone in their house. Uh, we'll go to uh, Blanche, I guess. Doesn't really matter. As long as we do it to someone. Careful, wasp. <laughs> no! No! Blanche! Why? You can't gift them when they're sitting. You can talk with them, but you can't gift them. What a fail. That's not the first time she's done that to us either. She really likes reading. Oh, here's, uh, what's her name? Hey, Flora. Oh yeah, I forgot, we can't gift you yet. Actually, can we gift either of them yet? We may not be able to. This is yours. Yes, I know, you're having a house party with Flora. Here, have a wasp. No! Did you just give the exact same thing as the other guy? What? Does the drop table depend on, like, what you gift them specifically? Did we really just get, like, two of the same shirt? Back to back. At least be different colors. Okay, good. It's at least different colors. That's not what I meant to do, though. But, um, really? <laughs> we got two striped tank tops. Up, oh, Lanky's out and about now. I haven't seen her fishing before, other than that one fishing tournament thing. Oh, she's out and about now. Okay, uh, let's go put these over here. Ah, I'm not sure where I want to put this. We're running out of room to put useless stuff. Without it interfering with useful pathing. The struggle of not having a shop. <laughs> well, some of that just goes to storage, though. Plus, we still got a bird area. Just looking at the thing. Also, it looks like it's about to stop raining. But we weren't really doing anything with the rain, anyways. Anything, at least we can catch butterflies and stuff now. Not like we have a direct need to. Your guy at the island gate still open? Nice. Oh, yeah, we could go sell at your place, couldn't we? Well, we don't have add that much we need to sell. We have three, seven. Most well, of so this just needs to go in storage. We have eight things we need to get rid of. Still have a couple people I could gift, so none of these are particularly high value. Okay, let me go put these two things away. Also, I really want to start decorating some houses soon. The only problem is both our houses are being used for something. Our current house is being used to force 200, uh, 150,000 points. As well as doing feng shui, which I have no clue if that actually has any effect on anything luck-wise, but it, it supposedly does. Got our lucky cat. Got green item. Uh, got red items to the right. Green items to the bottom. And yellow items to the left. Yellow helps gold. Green helps items. Red helps overall luck. And a lucky cat, I believe, gives even more bonus. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, it is considered a lucky item. The lucky cat. The gold and lucky cat, to be precise. Got our heat all ready to go. Anyways, uh, let's see. Anything else? Um, best friends. Is someone just give me an alert or something? Just trying to best friend us. These are from earlier. Anyways. Oh, this isn't a song. This is actually from this machine. This machine makes that noise. It's a Mahjong machine. But yeah, that's where that noise is coming from. 
That one right over there. The one that sounds the loudest right now. We can hear a bit better if I pick these two up. There we go. But yeah, this green machine makes it. It's a nice little jingle. They all three the arcade machines make their own noise. If I ever make them uh, an arcade, you have to make sure the three machines are actually separated from each other so that they all have their own individual noise. But yeah, it's not an actual song in the game. It's just a um, the jingle for the uh, the Mahjong machine. Oops, I need the red there. Oops, wrong one. It is important that that one is red. And not the blue one. Yeah, so a song that this one makes. It's a fighting game. Let's go hear what the blue one sounds like. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're not that expensive either. There's 64,000 in the shop. And that's what that one sounds like. Proudly enough, the Mijing machine actually has the coolest sounding jingle. So we still need to go plop a billion random junk items in those other rooms. I didn't have time to do it last uh, Saturday. But before uh, this Sunday, I need to make sure I do that. Another thing we need to make sure to do is sell all of our turnips. Which are uh, still a work in progress. Obviously, we can't even check our turnip prices today because we have no shop. And the problem is a lot of people probably won't have a shop this week. So it's going to be even harder to find uh, shop prices. Because a lot of people over the next few days will be getting their nook shop uh, upgraded. Max. Or at least current max. I might go further in the future. But it looks like there's like an upstairs that might eventually be added. There's stuff in the game files that suggests that it could potentially happen. Like that there's definitely an update. If it's going to be upstairs, we don't know. But uh, the upgraded shop does have an upstairs section that is blocked off. That doesn't currently exist. That is likely to exist in the future. I think some of the other Animal Crossing's had upstairs too, if I'm not mistaken, to the shop. So it would make sense. Okay, let me go make some uh, stone axes. I need to go take my daily trees. I've been saying that and I still haven't done that yet. Uh, where is my... I need two things. I need my uh, sticks, I need my stone, and I need my wood. So actually I need three. So I need you, I need you, and I need... Where's my stone? Also, we're running low on stone. Maybe we do run some Nook Mile tickets. So apparently they're doing spe something special for May Day. Or, you know, for, like, the beginning of May. Um, so we definitely want to save some tickets for that. I'm not sure if they're going to use some kind of separate one. Or if you just use a Nook Mile ticket. But I was kind of saying, we kind of need to get, like, some other kind of ticket forms. And while this will be a very temporary form of it, we kind of are. I wish they would expand that to, like, mm -hmm. seasonal things. I really, really wish they would have seasonal tickets. Uh, tickets that would allow you to get uh, se uh, drops from a certain month. Or even just an entire season. So, like, having a... Um, like a uh, March one that has a cherry blossom island, so you can get cherry blossoms whenever. Having, uh, you know, so you, like basically you can get any of the seasonal stuff whenever without time traveling. Would be a really, really nice feature. So like you could have a winter island, you could have a uh, cherry blossom island, you could have a summer island, which have a bunch of shark and all that. Um, I don't know, there's so much they could do with that. So much potential. They probably will be doing that. They likely just didn't initially because they knew people would just like go and spam that method if they did. But if they waited like several months into the game to implement something like that, then by that point, most people would have naturally experienced, you know, most of the game. Anyone who hasn't been time traveling. So at that point, they could be like, oh, okay, let's go now. Allow them to just go to any point they want by using tickets to go to a certain team or to a certain month of drops, which I still really hope they do. It's definitely within the possibilities. I just feel like they didn't do that as an initial mechanic because it kind of um, defeats the point of seasons. But once almost a year has expired, or even like half a year, they probably do it. Because at that point, a lot of new players would have came in who haven't played like any of the prior seasons. And anyone who wants to play without time traveling would be... Uh, Quite a bit annoying. <laughs> like everyone has all this cool stuff and then you're like, oh, how do I get that? <laughs> how do I get all these random items? Hello, Barbara! Welcome. I 
Uh, there should be more than enough to take every tree on our property. Um, I actually got this game for a little bit cheaper. Uh, this game normally retails for $60. Plus, you need to have a Switch. Um, so if you need to buy a Switch, that becomes pretty expensive. Because it's like 360 Plus, there's like a Switch storage worldwide. Um, so that makes it even harder. But, um... Yeah, Switch is 300 if you don't already have one. The game is 60 However, I bought this game for actually $47.50. Uh, they had a promotion for online members uh, a little while back. And uh, basically, you were able to buy uh, games for $50, plus you got some uh, um, some points for the online shop. So it effectively came out to $47.50 with no tax, which was a pretty good deal. Um, I ended up getting four of them or six of them. Uh, obviously, I only bought one copy of this game. But uh, I ended up using it for other stuff in the past. I forget if I still have one left. Maybe I have zero left or one left. I can't remember. But yeah, they had a promotional thing a little while back. Also, what happened to my other blue bag? Where did my second blue bag go? Second blue bag, where are you? Wait, why is it out here? Is that my second blue bag? Yeah, why is it out here? Weird. Drink. There we go. That was weird. Why was it outside? Anyways, uh, let's go and use some of uh, these stone axes. Let's go claim our wood. Daily wood cutting. We're our level 99 wood cutting skill. <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll grab all that. I gotta talk to three random villagers real quick. We want some 200 free miles. Gotta kill a tree too. I don't know, should we kill a tree? We shouldn't have killed all those other trees in that other area. Should have left a few of them. We always kill a coconut tree, I guess. How many coconuts do we have on us? Actually, yeah, that would work out perfectly, actually. Let's kill coconut tree real quick. Goodbye, coconut tree. There we go. Not what I want. Can you buy one of those arcade cabinets? Um, sure. I could do it for like a Nook Mile ticket or something. Uh, it would have to be the green one though. The green one's the only one I have a spare of. Uh, let's grab that line up. I'm gonna clean my trees. These part of the trees. You're trading gold again? How much gold do you have and what do you want for it? I have like an okay amount of gold, but I don't have like an infinite stacks of gold. I think I have like 60 on me or something. Or just quite a few items that can burn through that very quickly. Like I definitely don't have as many stacks of it as other resources. Mostly because it naturally spawns a little bit lower than other things, of course. Team? Oh, nice. What do you want for it? Let me know. Another thing that I really need right now is uh, rusted parts. Also, Kyle, do you have any rusted parts? That would actually work. Let me know if you have any rusted parts. Uh, I've been trying to collect them for the robot. I currently have nine. I think I need uh, 30 if I'm not mistaken. One of the only few things I'm missing for the robot. Robot. Nathan, let me know what you want for that then. The 14 gold and the three, uh, the, uh, three, uh, rest of parts. You can go trade. Ideally at your island, because mine is a gigantic mess right now. That's because we have, like, a billion turnips on the ground. Too many turnips. This might be the last time I do turnips. I said that last month, or last week, too. 
the one the weeks I skipped over. Two weeks ago I skipped over Doom Turns. Um, but then last week I did it again, and this week I did it again too. Uh, sure, Ethan. I don't know, how much do you need for your next house upgrade? Currently. I could just do part of that or something. Hello, Dan! Welcome! Oh, I still have a hole there. Also, he's sitting on the ground. He is blocking my wood cutting, isn't he? Good, he moves. Kind of. <laughs> he moved and then went right in the way again. Oh, you're on the 2.5 million upgrade. How much more do you need for the 2.5 million upgrade? That was definitely the hardest. To what I think of Salty Stream last night? Um, it didn't go over as much as I thought it would. But yeah, I could do half of that, Ethan. I could do a million then. For the uh, gold and the rest of parts. Then you'll be uh, a little bit more than halfway there. Okay, let me go grab a million. We'll do the rest of the trees in a bit. Let me go store away everything we have right now, get a million out, and uh, make up the code, and they'll be right over. Um, I'm actually curious to see how the gem shop will work out. Um, my only big concern with the gem shop in Gems of War. Uh, with how they're going to be implementing it. There's two things. Uh, there's going to be some amount of people that will be complaining about um, the fact that the final reward requires VIP 6. VIP 6 requires you to spend, I believe, $230 on the game or something. I have done that before over the course of these five years I've been playing. However, a lot of people haven't, and they might feel kind of left out. Uh, they're kind of doing this as another reward kind of for having VIP, because VIP uh, there has been uh, complaining in the inverse direction and that there's not enough rewards for having uh, high v VIP. Um, and of course they don't want to make like excessively high VIP milestones, but, uh, they kind of made that concession by going to six. But, uh, I feel like that might be some contention. The other big issue with that it might have is everyone has different, uh, rewards every single day. And some people might get better rewards than others, and that could cause maybe some conflict to some capacity. But anyways, let me go grab a million and then get over to Ethan. Uh, let's see. But overall, I, I personally like it. I feel like it would overall be good for the economy. I know we already have like a billion things to spend gems on, but it's not like you're forced to have to spend on them. Unlike some other events where you kind of are when it's a guild related event and you have to help your guild. Like uh, the fact that they're adding like, for example, invasion uh, this weekend, uh, while we have like two week of events that we have to do. Like that's kind of making you have to do more because most people's guilds would have the requirement to do so. So in a way it's kind of like a requirement. However, something like those daily offers is not required whatsoever. It's not like you have a guild requirement to go do those or anything like that. Um, uh, sure, you can come to, um, uh, well, my shop's not upgraded right now. Uh, mine's still upgrading. I'm pretty sure yours might be too. But, uh, no, I don't have an upgraded shop yet. I will tomorrow, but it's under construction right now. I have no shop for the all of today, which is pretty annoying. But, yeah, I don't have it till tomorrow. They do want me to make a code or you? Let me know. We'll go to the trade. You can do it either way. I just always find it convenient going to someone else's. Just because of uh, all the turnips I have around. Just out of precaution case, especially since we're on stream. Oh, wait, are you already on my friends list? I could probably um, do it that way. No, could you still set it up if you don't mind? Just because I'm on stream right now. <laughs> and I don't want random people coming in. Even if I set it to friends only, we still have other random people. Though most of them I do trust. But yeah, just make one and do it friends only, I guess. And that'll work. That's a million, right? Yeah, there's ten slots in a row. So we should send a postcard while we're waiting. Who can I give a random junk item to? Actually, one thing that's actually kind of useful that's kind of a junk item. Uh, let me go craft a coconut thing while I'm waiting. 
and go gift it to someone who I haven't given given it to yet. Because this is a pretty cool item that some people might not have. Also, can you customize this? I don't even think I've ever tried customizing it yet. Let me see. Uh, let's craft I mean, a coconut. This is a good random gift item. Because it works really good for... Oh, okay, you set it up? Okay. I'll give this to someone later then. Actually, I might as well just give it to you. <laughs> I'm not sure if you have one yet. I'll just give it to you. Before I do, though, does that have customization options? I hope so. Uh, it'd be cool if you can change the coconut cup. Oh, you can't. It's just default. Oh, well, that kind of makes sense. Especially with how cheap it is. It's literally just a coconut to make. But it's a pretty cool beach item. Has that really nice, like, relaxing on beach vacation vibe to it. Uh, I want to fly. Uh, I want to visit someone. Uh, online play. Roger. How do I want to fly? Search for, uh, I mean, search for friends. And I'll drop you a million plus a coconut. And uh, let's fly. Also, I'm going to check your DIY house if you happen to have one, if you don't mind. Because as long as it's not too late in your time zone, um, there should be a DIY house. Always like checking them in case we can get a new DIY. You never know. Even if it's not something that useful, as long as it's a new one. Even if it's not, we can always give it to someone else later. Or trade it. Most DIYs are not worth much, though. Most DIYs are only worth like a, a Nook Mile ticket, with a few exceptions. If they're even worth that much. <laughs> like all the Bunny Day ones are basically worth trash. I still held on to them, though, in case someone joins in the game later, who I know. Who's like, oh, I didn't get to do the Easter event. It's like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's like every DIY for it already. Enjoy. Oh, your shop's open. Nice. I didn't bring anything for it. But I do want to check it real quick if you don't mind. Oh, sure. I'll go to see your Bundy Day room. Yeah, I kind of do want to do island tours into the future of completed islands. Not that many people have completed islands right now, though. Here's some coconut juice. Cool little item. Oops, I didn't mean to put that away. I fail. Uh, 99,000. Not bad. Uh, put away that. Grab these two, and uh, let me drop all this. Drop. There we go. And now your debt's almost paid off. If you get any more um, rusted parts in particular, let me know. I'm trying to make the robot. We're at 12 out of 30. So I could use more gold ore too, I guess. Not sure how much I'm really going to be needing overall. Now let me see your uh, house thingy. Now let me go search for your DIY and the other thing. Yeah, it should be everything but the basement then. This is what you have. Also, keep in mind, you can change the design of your um, mailbox, by the way. I think it only costs 5000 Which room is it? Over here? Yep, mine is uh, closing today. The reason why mine's happening a day earlier is because I started at midnight on the day it launched. Oh, nice! I even got the other things on the wall. Pretty cool. I didn't bother hanging my other two things on the wall because I was... Uh, uh, where oh, wow. I even see that over there. Nice. You got all the outfits, too. And, of course, the little toy thingy. Oh, did you get the wand? There, uh, I see you got the basket over there, too. Where's the wand? Is there anything that I don't think is in here? Like, everything else is here. Nice. Oh, well, that and the, uh, uh, the, the uh, what's it called? The fencing. But uh, you're not allowed to put the fencing inside. Pretty cool, though. Oh, are those actually on the wall? Or on the ground? I can't even tell. It almost looks like they're on the wall, but it has like a little small rod or something. Hey, they are on the wall. 
You can tell because of how the basket is. I never realized you could put them that low in the wall. Interesting. I never realized those shoes could go that far down on the wall. Because they are quite literally on the wall. You can tell because the uh, one over here, by how it clips into the... Uh, and also because they disappear uh, like that. But um, you can even tell by how it clips. Interesting. I never realized that you could do that. I know you could put them on the wall. I didn't realize they could go down on that low, though. Can you have a star piece? Um, I don't know. Star pieces are pretty valuable. <laughs> I could maybe give a uh, three and give the thing later. Um, I don't have them on me right now, though. They could trade it for something else a little bit later. But I don't have them on me. But it only takes three star pieces, so it's not that many. Like, star pieces are almost, like, one-to-one -one worth about as much as gold in the current state of the game. Uh, let's see. Quite literally, they're actually worth gold. <laughs> they kind of look like gold, too. They're, like, little yellow stars. Oh, you got five stars on Sunday. Congrats, Zidicus. Have you decorated your town yet? I would love to see your town after that much progress. Now let me find your DIY shop over your DIY house on here. And then let me go find your, uh, see if there's anything interesting in the other place. Is that? Yeah, it is. I can't tell because they have curtains up. But, um, that actually is open. You can tell by if the light's on or not. Is the main thing you need to look for. Uh, sure, Kyle. We can go make that trade in uh, a moment. I'll go bring the arcade machine over to you. Hey, you got Hazel as well. I ended up getting rid of my Hazel. She was actually one of our starting two villagers. Eventually, I will find your DIY house. <laughs> actually, isn't this the person we just recruited? Isn't this Starling's house? It looks the same from the outside. No, it's uh, someone else. So it has the same house. Any good DIY? Come on, good DIY. You know you want to. Come on, good DIY. Good DIY. Something we don't have. Bonsai. Oh, I already have Bonsai shell. Oh, well. At least it is a good DIY, though. That's a good DIY we already have. <laughs> we did already craft it as well. It's a little bit annoying getting a Bonsai. I honestly have no clue. But if you haven't gotten Bonsai Shelf yet, your Bonsai Shelf is in what's his name's house. I have no clue what his name was. Um, Angus. Obviously, you know, you literally just went in there. Uh, but anyways, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to go do real quick? I wanted to go check your Nook shop. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with Abel. I'm normally not looking for any specific clothing. I really wouldn't. I'm, I'm not the kind of person that would change my clothing every day. I know some people, like, absolutely love doing that in-game as well, as they would in real life. But uh, I am perfectly fine staying like this forever. <laughs> also, I forget if I have that color magic kit, so I'm just going to buy one of everything. Also, do you need this toilet cleaning set? Let me know. I'm not sure if I have that color or not, but... I'm not sure if you need it. So buy one only item, though. These are infinite, so it doesn't matter if I buy these or not. Okay, there we go. Is there anything else I need while I'm here? I think we have enough customization kits. Uh, we already got all of our things crafted, so we should be fine. Okay. Anything else we need to do while we're here? Unless you had any kind of shops, I don't believe so. Unless you had the carpet lady or whatever her name. Follow? Sure. Oh, you love the wizard robe and uh, the wizard hat. Let's see, whose house is this? I like the outside. Some people actually decorate their town based on what their outside their villagers' houses look like. You get villagers based on it. Oh, this is that one, um, um, tech, uh, usher thing. I guess it's, like, quite literally made of metal. They have Sprocket. I don't think I'm going to be recruiting him. 
Definitely an interesting character, though. What song is that, by the way, too? Have I heard this one yet? I think I have. Also, I don't have a DJ table, I just realized. PK Metal. Yeah, I don't have that one yet. Anyways, probably gonna be heading out for now. Anything else I need to do while I was here? I don't think so. Does he happen to have a random traveler around? I didn't see any. Also, not getting one normally means you have a ghost that night. Which isn't really as interesting. The ghost will probably be good later in the game. Or early on in the game, or even in mid-game, it's probably not as useful. Just because um, it's only really good at getting items you don't have. However, if you're missing a lot of items, it doesn't really help much. But yeah, Zidicus, let me know if your uh, gate is open to best friends only. And I'll go ahead over. We'd love to see your town again. I have best friended you, right, in this game? Pretty sure I have. I know I added you. I forget if I best friended you or not yet. Oh, our island finally stopped raining. But luckily, everything's still watered. Also, let's see if they have star pieces on the ground. I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe there's only a 20 limit per day. But uh, I definitely did enough wishes last night that we should have um, more than 20 on the ground. Kind of weird. Maybe it glitched out or something. But I almost guarantee we did more than 20 last night. Well, I know for sure we did. It's not even an almost guarantee. It's a literal guarantee. No, for sure I did. I don't know, do we have any star pieces? Probably not. Nope. Unless it's based on some kind of time limit as well. I don't think that's the case. Yeah, I think it just might be a daily limit or something on it. I'm not sure. I don't see any. Might need to look up a guide video. I'm pretty sure it would say, oh, there's like a 20 limit or something per day. Uh, regardless of how many wishes you do. But obviously you could time travel to uh, keep doing it. Which we will not be doing. Uh, anyways, let me go store all this junk away. Well, actually, that's not junk. <laughs> but um, put away the rest. Put some more trees. Yeah, let me know if you're uh, opening Zidicus. We'll go head over. Have I completed Critopedia? No. Uh, we're doing no time travel, so it's impossible. I don't believe it's possible to like three months from now or four months from now with no time travel. And that's using Southern Hemisphere. It takes even longer if you're not using Southern Hemisphere. But I will be using Southern uh, Hemisphere to fi uh, fill out the Critopedias. I don't consider that cheating as long as it's not a time travel. Because Southern Hemisphere was a natural mechanic that they added in this version of the game. Uh, yeah, I got the ants. I got enough to make the model as well. I just haven't had Flick for a while, so we haven't been able to. Okay, it's open. Let me go head over to Zidicus then. Let's go get an island tour of Zidicus' this place. See what that's looking like these days. Gosh, everyone's in Town Square. There's like five people in Town Square right now. Which is kind of uh, perfect because it's right in the middle of our town, so they kind of all go through it. The only problem with that is when they take bottom path and go through my area. I almost feel like getting rid of the pathing over there just so my villagers don't keep going in it. <laughs> Have it more... I actually think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it like a natural pathing. Let's see, Ethan. Enjoy class. Stay safe from coronavirus. See, I want to fly. Uh, yeah, let's go to Zidicus. Uh, I want to visit someone. Online play. Roger. Also, apparently there's a Dodo Airlines jacket. I need it so badly. So I'm not even sure what it looks like, but I feel like it would work perfectly. Uh, search for a friend. Uh, yeah. And that should bring up Zidicus. Yep, there's a request. That is it, I guess. Let's fly. Uh, Kyle, we'll get around to it uh, after we uh, search here and everything. 
Gonna do the little tour here. See how it's been going over here. Oh, I love that little beach area over there. Fenced in your little cups. Is that actually the natural color that you have of the cups? I've never actually seen that one, I don't think. Oh, nor have I seen that villager. The little beady blue eyes. And then we walk right in. To whoever's house this is, invade their house. Actually, I do need to invade some house. I need to find where to DIY. Who on earth is this, by the way? It is Walker. Interesting. So I found a Walker. Is that a cheese? Did you put cheese on your uh, thing? Was that one the designed, or did you get a custom design just to put cheese on it? <laughs> Let me find your DIY real quick. Then I'll look around the rest of your island. If you know where your DIY is already, let me know. If I'm not mistaken, that character is actually pretty popular. I forget her name. Even though I was just literally right there. Let's see, who is this again? Yeah, Audie. I believe Audie's the most popular wolf in the game. Audie and Fang. Audie, the most popular female wolf, and Fang, I believe, the most popular male wolf. Got a little frog. Oh, she has a um, cappuccino set. I don't have it in that color yet. I'm trying to find it in black. I currently only have gray. So any new color variants are always useful for anything. Your little snack machines. Oh, is your snack machine naturally green? I'm trying to collect every color. I believe I'm missing green in one other. Because I might need to trade for that later. If you're interested. I have a spear pink or I could just buy it for um, a Nook Mile ticket or whatever you want to do for it. Oh, wait, this is your house while I'm in here. Oh, well, I'm here. Might as well check through your house. So you got cherry blossom and then the candy flooring. I believe that's candy flooring. One of them. Uh, then we have... Oh, you got katanas? Nice. You got a purple lamp thingy. Very nice. Isn't this from Gulliver? I'm pretty sure it's from Gulliver. <gasps> oh, I need to touch this later at some point. You have normal color globe. I have two different colors. I do not have normal color of it yet. Oops, I turned off your gears. Oh, I do not have normal color globe. The natural color. Very nice find. But I really need to touch that at some point in the future. It doesn't have to be right now. Uh, you got a cool fireplace. Is this DIY? This looks like a DIY item. Is this furniture or DIY? I've never seen that fireplace before. It's pretty cool. I like how it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then some bunny day items. Nice little couch things. Customized. I know for sure those are craftable. Like the little bear design on them. Then we got the bedroom over here. What color ship is that? Do I have that one yet? I might need to touch that ship as well. Gosh. A lot of interesting things here. Can't tell. Is that natural looking? That might be natural color. Because it has like a normal color cork on the uh, outside. Which makes me think it's natural color. Because I think all the other ones had a uh, coloration relative to what they were. Oh, it was popped from a balloon. Oh, okay. Still pretty cool find. Oh, you got a microwave. I actually don't have any microwaves yet. You got yourself a blender. I didn't even realize the blender turned on. I'd never bothered picking my blender. How does it click the microwave? Ah, <laughs> it turns on. Too bad it probably never opens. 
Well, I might once the timer goes down. How long does it take to microwave? Come on, microwave, go already. Impatient microwave. Gosh, how long does it take till ding? It's almost like a real time microwave. Heat up already. Oh, so that's a pretty cool rooster thing on the wall. How long does it take the microwave to go? Oh, there we go. I don't think it opens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's check your upstairs real quick. Oh, you got downstairs too. Didn't realize you maxed out your house already. Oh, yeah, I, I love this flooring. I got this as well the other day. I don't think I have that color books yet. Oh, that's not really high priority. Same as like that color of vacuum. I think I have it in red. There's a lot of cleaning supplies for the house. Oh, you do have a different board. Yeah, I have a one of these boards too. Uh, apparently you can't customize it, but they come in different variants. Interesting. So that's a pretty cool thing in the top right over there. Uh, and you got the little fishy pouch. I have like a billion of those, gosh. We're going to be using it for our museum shop eventually. Uh, anyways, that's all the rooms. Now go find your DIY house. Hey, the wizard outfit. Nice. Okay, there's four other houses that could be DIY. Oh, no, six. They are very separated as well. But if nothing else, we were going to go look for the entire town anyway, so it's quite convenient. Since we we're already going to do it this way. Oh, you can customize the manholes? I didn't realize that. Is that actually a custom design on it? I never bothered building a manhole yet. I didn't realize you could put a design on it. Also, do you have the Nook Incorporated thing? You have so many interesting Nook Mile objectives. Like you have the Nook Inc. Um, uh, thing. You have the green machine. And you have a teacup thing I've never seen coloration wise. Very interesting. Also, I didn't realize you could uh, color these. Yeah, it makes it, um, them look a lot more like a playpen area. Really cool. A lot of things I don't bother customizing that I probably should. I mean, those are one of the mom's tissue boxes, it looks like. I got the one with fruit on it. Nope, not DIY. Gosh, that is a very colorful room. How waiting for that hot pocket to heat up, I know, right? Got a pool. Get another color variant of something I don't have. <gasps> what do you want for this? Wait, why do you have stars on your ground? Do you not realize you have these here? What do you want for this? Zidicus? <laughs> Let me know. A large star fragment. I need it for the moon. Let me know what you want for that. <laughs> Unless you want to keep it yourself. But I found a large star fragment on your beach. I'm not sure how I've gotten zero spawns with them. I can give it to you. Or it is yours after all. But let me know. It's perfectly fine, obviously. <laughs> it is yours after all. Uh, let's see. Gosh, who house have I not checked yet? One of them has to have it. It's uh, two more over here. Ooh, I like how you have the pathing over here. Feels like it needs a path over here, though. Oh, you got one of these flowers. Do you even realize this? If you have five stars for a while, you get one of these. Every seventh, seventh day, you've had five star. Not sure if you realized that was even there. They spawn randomly by your cliffs and stuff. Not oh, there's the last house and the one that has DIY in it. Of course, it would be literally the last one I check. Also, you can run on this infinitely and it'll never break. Supposedly. I've never actually tried. <laughs> there's not a concern of breaking it. But apparently, it's an invincible flower. It's the only invincible flower in the game. Oh, 
let's see what Spike has for us. Bonsai- We literally got two Bonsai Shelves in a row. If you need Bonsai Zelf Zidicus, your Spike has Bonsai Shelf. Gosh, we've literally gotten the same recipe twice in a row. But yeah, Zidicus, I'll give you something later for it. I don't really have much to give you of currently that I have on me. Unless you want like 50,000 bells or something. I don't really have anything else of value on me. So just let me know. But thank you for that. Because now we can go craft a moon. I've been wanting a moon so badly. I'm not sure where we're going to put it though. I know for sure I want to use it somewhere as my museum. Uh, where I have not the slightest clue. But it is being used 100% in our museum at some point. Some location. Probably all of the space items will be at some point. Uh, what do I not have from here? I have it all, I believe. This might be a different color variant, but I'm not sure. Same as this. Let me get this. This, is bought infinite. this can be bought infinitely. Also, is this a different set of this? I think I already have this, but out of paranoia, I like always getting things. Theoretically, I almost want to get that, but I'm not sure if you need it. I think I already have it in that color variant. However, I've never actually used that item. Actually, a lot of these items I would never use. I just like having them cataloged. You have only wands to make? Really? I got a few things that weren't wands. Uh, actually, what is everything that we got that wasn't wands? Um, uh, let's see. What do we have? There's isn't a set for it. Let's go down to the gray area. Like this area right over here. So what I can make from the space set is I can make the moon. I can make a lunar lander. Robot's really easy. Any everyone has that. Uh, starry wall, uh, galaxy flooring. Both require a large star fragment. Not really worth it. Um, the bag, the standard wand, the Ares rocking chair, which was from last month, and the Taurus bathtub, which is from this month. Um, actually, today was the earliest time you could have gotten it without time travel. Uh, it was not possible to get it before today without time travel, but uh, it is available as of today, as well as for the next month or so. But, um, yeah, we're definitely using it for the moon. Moon is by far the absolute coolest thing you can probably craft out of a star fragment. A large star fragment. Oh, I can get this item? Okay. Just making sure. I'm not sure if I actually need it, but, um, you never know. <laughs> Might as well. I know for sure I have the top right one. I don't even think that comes in any other color variant now that I think of it. Let me see. It's called like a lab set or something, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check its name. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even have color variants, last I checked. Uh, if I click, type in the word lab, I believe it comes up. Uh, let's see. Lab. Yeah, there is no color variants of it. There's quite literally only one. Yep. I just realized we got both the ocean variants of her clothing. And it has her little label on it. Her label of a uh, little that little A mark thing. It's not really an A. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Like a mountain? I'm not sure what the story is behind that symbol. Should probably explain it to us eventually. I really like these curtains. Probably the eagle one the most. I haven't figured out a good place to go put them though. There we go. Let's see, any results I wanted to go look at on your islands? Let me go check the left area. I haven't really looked up here yet. Got your little pond over there. A little zen fencing. Just all your daily fossils you haven't taken yet. I don't know how you could walk past them without taking them. I don't have this color of wall yet. I have the natural looking one. Things be uh, designed the same way as the other uh, man pit pole thing. Another little fence over here. It goes up. And then goes over to your beach. Oh, we're not best friends yet. I just realized that. design on the beach yet. Oh, yeah. Hey, anyways. Pretty cool island so far. 
I like it. Oh, yeah, you're doing the invasions thing. Yeah, we're going to be doing it a lot on um, next Tuesday. Oh, oops, there's no way to get around here. Um, but yeah, uh, not next Tuesday, two Tuesdays from now. For Sea of Sorrows, we're going to be playing like a hefty amount that Tuesday. We might not even do a uh, Animal Crossing stream that day. Because I'm going to be, um, we're, we're going to have to put in at least a couple hours into uh, Gems of War. Uh, to get the uh, event thingy done. Because I'm going to be doing Pure Faction for the um, Sea of Sorrows. But anyways, uh, nice little island you yeah, got going on. Oh, I got Blue Airport too. That was the one I originally wanted. However, Yellow has really grown on me. This would be actually my new favorite. Which is good because we're stuck with it. But uh, I actually like generally like the Yellow. Just because it works really good for that color scheme of the white, yellow, uh, blue that it has. And has become quickly my favorite color of Airport. Okay, yeah, Zidicus, I'll get you something for the large fragment in, uh, in the near future. Let me know exactly what you want for it later or something. But now we can make a moon! Yep, no problem. And thank you for the uh, large star fragment. Now, the first thing we do once we get back is craft that moon. <laughs> Not sure where I'm putting it for now. I'm probably just going to put it in the middle of that museum path because I have really no actual location for it. However, I know I want it. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Vidicus? Thank you for that. Hopefully, we'll finally find our first natural one eventually. <clears throat> well, let me go get my star pieces out and make a moon. Okay, uh, let's throw away the uh, random things over here. Okay, now star pieces. Where are you? It is moon time. Man, this is by far, I would say, the coolest thing in the space set. There's like 20 something items, I believe, or 30 something. But uh, this is my personal favorite. Well, you can find them naturally through your store. Also, if you're doing really specific breeding, the seeds that you get from your store will always be the same um, genetics. So uh, if you look into breeding, or look into that a little bit, um, you will know exactly what your breeding cycle is if you're starting from seeds. It's one of the biggest benefit from starting from natural seeds compared to just getting them off of someone else fully grown is that you know the genetics of every flower that you have. So you need to almost be a genetics expert to work it in this game. Gosh, <laughs> like you, you have to like plot them out on like little graphs and everything, to like fully understand it. It gets really complex. That's not what I want. Uh, what I want is moon. Yeah, there we go. Watch, it's so big I can't even get by. Uh, there we go. This is gonna be a centerpiece of some kind of museum area for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. It even, like, uh, it's elevated. I don't think clicking it does anything, unfortunately. However, it's uh, one of those objects that just looks amazing just sitting there. It also glows in the dark at night. Which we can kind of show that if we bring it to our house. I'm pretty sure it glows in the dark at night. It's actually a light source. Can't quite tell right now that it is, but... If we go into any room in our house, you'll be able to notice that it's a light source. Let's just do it, uh, I guess, over here. I think it's one of our emptiest rooms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes in the dark. Yep. Well, it doesn't exactly make light around it, but as you can see, it has its own, like, light attached to it. Even though it doesn't make light around it like that lamp does. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Almost looks like we're in a sci-fi scene now. <laughs> with all the, uh, tech flooring with a moon just randomly in the middle. But yeah, it's my personal favorite item from the entire space set. So I'm glad we got the DIY for it recently. And thanks to Zidicus, we got the large star fragment too.
I'm not sure what else I'll actually craft from the set. Honestly, most of the other items I don't really care for. It was mostly just the moon, for the most part. So luckily we finally got it. That and I do eventually want to make all the wands, but luckily all the wands do not require a large star fragment. Except for the uh, star wand, which we already have. Someone else actually gave us that to us, uh, graciously. Which is really nice. But I might need to go in multiplayer to try to find people that have large star fragments. They seem to drop very rarely. But they're surprisingly not worth like an excessively, excessively high amount. I forget their exact value. But uh, I think they're worth about five star pieces. Somewhere's around there. I did wish it does have something I would do if you click on it though. I think almost every space object does except the moon. However, the moon is just so cool on its own. That kind of the oh! Oh, I just realized something really cool we could do for the moon. Though we would need multiple of them. I was thinking of what would be the coolest thing we could put in a corner on all these ends. I think I know what the object is now. Also, do we have fog? Fog the thing? I didn't have so much fog here as we came up here. But uh, what if we did a moon in all the corners? <laughs> How does that look? Potentially work. Can we actually put that even higher elevation? I didn't think about that. Hold up. Wait, are you even allowed to? No, you can't. You can't do that, unfortunately. That's not a legal spot because it has to be surrounded by uh, surrounded by uh, walls. So no, you wouldn't be able to. Never mind. I'm not sure. I don't know if I actually like that or not. I almost feel like the fire thing actually would work better than that. Because it doesn't work around everything else. Like, it doesn't really work next to a solar panel or next to a dinosaur fossil. And that's a specific situation. Yeah, I don't think it'll work for a corner piece. But we'll find somewheres for it. Let's see, it's a really uh, nice item. Oh, so can you customize the color on that thing? I don't think you can. I think it only has natural. Okay. For now, um, where should we drop the moon? Where do we drop the moon? That isn't intrusive on any location. I guess right here for now. Because I believe that still allows us to walk through. Because it's a two by two object, so we just walk through still. But there we go. Pretty cool. We'll definitely find somewhere it's nice to put it. Where? I do not know. <laughs> but uh, we'll find a location for it. It'll probably be more towards our museum area. Where specifically is uh, up to debate. <laughs> but for now, it's sticking there. Because I really do not have a spot for it right now. As much of our island is kind of just a mess of... Uh, Thing soon to be, but is currently being. <laughs> like, we're getting there. There's a lot of stuff we need before we can really start uh, decorating properly. Oh, wait, did I not take any of these upper trees yet? I don't think I did. Oh, no, how do you fit an entire moon in your pockets? <laughs> Obviously, it's a model moon, but still. Mildred has, like, the deepest pockets ever. Pocket physics. And I'm trying to think what else is actually from the space set that I would actually want. I don't really think there is much else. There's a bunch of wands, but uh, while we are in the process of trying to get every wand, they're not like excessively high priority. Just because theoretically you only ever need one wand. And my personal favorite so far is probably... Um, actually, what is my personal favorite wand right now that I think about it? Um, Cherry Blossom wand's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, uh, the normal wand wand is pretty cool. And it's actually the cheapest of all the wands too. It's only two star pieces. Whereas I believe almost every other wand, if not every other wand, is three star pieces. 
But it's pretty cool in that it's um, like a literal wand, it's like a Harry Potter wand almost like a thing. It's pretty small looking visually. However, if you think of what a wand is, it's like the generic version of what you would think a wand is. It's literally even just called wand. It doesn't even have anything after it, it's just called the word wand for its name. And like star wand, which is called star wand. Though every single wand when dropped looks like a star wand on the ground. Making it technically more default than the actual wand. We should have enough axes to do all these. Last I recall, it takes about five axes to take every tree on my island. Yeah, as far as how many trees we have, I believe it's a count of 100 and something. It used to be as high as 700 or so, um, which almost goes to 800. However, uh, we've gotten rid of a lot of trees since then. I kind of want to catch that, but uh, it's only worth doing if you shake the tree. It takes too long if you uh, have hit the tree with an axe. Especially when you don't have vision of the tree. The best place to actually catch them, oddly enough, are uh, islands. Because there's only a certain amount of spawns on the islands. And um, you can use trees as like a designated spot since there's only a certain amount of them. And you can even get rid of more trees in order to make it more likely that they would be on a specific tree. And then just cycle through the bugs on the island until you get them all. Theoretically, within one Nook Mile ticket, you can catch three of both of them most likely. Like, there's two tree bugs. There's a uh, bagworm and then there's a spider thing. Both of which I still need to get three copies of. Make a model out of. We'll get them eventually, I'm not in any rush. I've already caught in more than that many of both of them, however I didn't keep the copies of them. Really should have. That was before we were really collecting all of them. But now we are! Ugh, hello the Milky Way Galaxy, welcome. We made a moon. Uh, let's see what's like that. Yeah, apparently there's like a 20 star piece limit per day or something. Kind of strange. Didn't realize that. Unfortunate. Not sure if that's actually a thing or if it glitched out, but it just might be a cap. So that people can't go too crazy with it. Because I don't recall any day that we've actually gotten more than 20 off of one. stacks of wood. Still gotta go do our bamboo too. I'm not sure how much longer young bamboo lasts for, but it does eventually stop spawning. It spawns for like the springtime area. However, um, I'm not sure exactly when that ends technically in game. I think it's cherry blossom kind of came and went like out of nowhere. I'm not sure what the full span of the spring thing is. Oh, hello David, welcome. Yeah, we're almost done with our trees. Theoretically, we take the pine trees too. Take this more normal wood. Obviously, we'll take our coconut trees. I mean, not uh, coconut trees. I mean, um, bamboo trees. So hopefully, we get some new tree types in the future. I believe other games did have it. Uh, not sure if we're eventually going to get it here. The next thing, main thing that we're getting um, crop-wise is bushes. So there's rumor we're getting literal crops, like sugar, tomatoes, stuff like that. 
which will be the first for the series, which likely means we're getting cooking, which will also be the first for the series. It's very common in games like this, however, Animal Crossing, for whatever reason, has never implemented it until likely New Horizons, and that's not implemented yet. Now, I'd say the most interesting thing happening on the 23rd patch is probably red, or as far as me, as far as interesting. Mostly because red's a rather interesting, sketchy character. He's probably one of the more dynamic characters in the entire game. It's almost like Tom Nook, but with more personality, almost. And a lot sketchier. <laughs> Lathers is probably my favorite character, though, that is uh, a side character. Or, you know, one of those side characters that's just always around. That just runs a part of the town. raining so we can't do fish stuff i was gonna say it's like oh it's almost four o'clock but then it's like oh yeah it's not raining that doesn't matter too much we could theoretically still get it we still need to hunt for two more chars or actually three more chars we surrounded the river with charizards and trying to get chars but uh uh we've still been a little bit unlucky in getting the other three somehow we found four golden trout before finding four chars or should say five golden trout before finding five chars uh but we've still been unsuccessful Oh, there's four o'clock. Chars can now be found. Oh, did it start raining again? Oh, that's kind of convenient. I just saw some raindrops, which means uh, it's probably starting to rain again. Yep, there it goes. Oh, that's convenient. Maybe we'll go try fishing for it. Oh, yeah, Kyle. Um, Yeah, let me go do the trade thingy. What are we doing again? The green machine for uh, Nick Mile ticket? Do you happen to have a rusted part or... um, What's it called? Do you have any rusted parts? <laughs> Because I'm still trying to collect the uh, thing. I'm probably more interested in that than a Nook Mile ticket right now. I'm kind of already good on Nook Mile tickets. I don't know, do you have gold ore or um, rest of parts? Particularly rest of parts. I feel like are like the main thing I need right now. And because we have more Nook Mile tickets than we can even use. Even though they're still good to get more of. Ah, uh, where's my other axe? Right there. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Get away from here. Oh, you don't? Okay. But yeah, I can just do it for Nick Mouse. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, the machine normally costs like 64000 I believe it is from the shop. You do have gold? How many gold do you have? Because I am starting to get quite a few recipes that are starting to take gold. Actually, like two or three, which we actually got today. We got the gold cheer, which takes five, and um, the other one. And then we got the gold candles recently. That wasn't today, though. I got the gold... Um, What's it called? The gold cat three days ago or so. Or two days ago. We had it for Saturday. So it was like Saturday night and Sunday. So yeah, three days ago. <laughs> but yeah, I could do it for the two gold ore instead. If that would be okay with you. Because I really am not in need of Nook Mouse tickets at the moment. Like, I'd still kind of trade for them. But um, I'd rather trade for things I actually need. But that's okay. But let me know. Oh, yeah, we left the weeds there. I was wondering what that object was. I dropped the weeds while we were doing wasps, and I completely forgot about them earlier. Oh, and we got all the random wood over here. And when we cut down these trees and never bother grabbing the wood. 
from them. Okay, now all of our trees are in one single space. Okay, yeah, I'll be over with the machine um, uh, in a second. We'll get this wood and we'll do the bamboo trees when we get back. Oh, one second though. Hold up, that's an item that we don't have possibly. Ah, you're gonna make me have to wait until you go all the way around, don't you? Fail. Yeah. We're gonna have to wait. At least we get to see our moon again. This is what the moon looks like for any that didn't see it earlier. It's probably the coolest thing you can make out of the, uh, or I don't know, it's my personal favorite from the space uh, set. As far as all the items in the space set. There's a couple other pretty cool ones too, but that's my definitely my favorite, the moon. There we go. Okay, uh, what's in the present? Anything good? Pan flu! Fail! No. Rip. Another recipe we already have. Add it to the pile of uh, things that go in storage. Alright, let me go get the machine. Yeah, we'll need to go add more green items to our fawn sway. However, um, um, I found a pretty good way to do it. Bamboo bench actually counts as a low-hanging green item. So eventually all this will just be bamboo benches. Bamboo bench is also pretty cheap to make. Uh, actually, how much do you need for a bamboo bench? Um, I believe it's eight bamboo or six for the smaller one. Yeah, five. Even smaller than that. But yeah, you only need five, so we'll probably do that with quite a bit of our bamboo. Plus, if we don't need it for our house anymore, we could dual purpose it for our Zen garden eventually. Whatever excess we don't need later. Uh, anyways, uh, that was the only thing I needed, right? Yeah, Arcane Mahjong Machine. And the green one was the only one we had a spear of. I did grab the green, right? That well, was the easy way to check. Let's just drop it. Uh, place item. Yep, grab the green one. Okay, let me know where your code is. I don't think I have you added. And I'll be right over with the Mahjong machine. Yeah, there's three arcade machines. There's this one, which makes that cool little jingle. The blue one and the red one. This one makes the coolest sound. When you're clicking on it, the red one probably makes the coolest sound when you're clicking. As far as the default sound when you're not doing anything with it, this one probably is the nicest tune. Oh yeah, yesterday was 420. I should have gifted weed to a bunch of people. Could have given all of our weeds away. <laughs> for 420. I didn't do anything for it. Uh, let's see, I want to fly. I want to visit someone. Online play. Roger. I don't want to travel code. There we go. The neon zone or neo zone. Hey, you got an open shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were here earlier. Forgot. Of course, you have an open shop. And you got kicks as well. Why does it feel like everyone has kicks today? Pretty sure it's random. Or slightly random. Seems like everywhere we're going to has kicks, though. Oh, there you go. Mahjong machine. Enjoy. 
And thank you for the gold ore. Greatly appreciate it. Nice. Might need to go make some candles out of it. But thanks a ton. Which I kind of do want to make. I never did bother making it to see if it could be customized or not. I don't have any immediate location to put it, though. That's the only problem with me crafting anything. Like, I want to craft a couple things, and it's like, hmm, where are we going to put this storage-wise? <laughs> because I might not have an immediate purpose for it, even though I do want to have it somewhere. And the problem with not having an immediate purpose for it is uh, it kind of just stays in inventory, just kind of takes up space. Compared to just stacking on something that can stack up to 30 times. Well, we got rain, so we could try for that char again. I've been having some really bad luck. And whenever I try for it, I keep getting discouraged. <laughs> but we need them eventually. So I might try again. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't know. I guess I'll try again. As far as main objectives we need to get done, that's like the only really main thing I need to get done. That and find one more Dory. I think we're still missing a Dory copy. We could do that anytime. Particularly at night when it's raining, so we have a chance for that uh, other legend. Because they're the same size. Dory and the uh, the small legend are the same size. Ugh. I like how she has an umbrella out now. Hey, what is all the gold things we can currently craft? There's a couple of them I haven't done yet. Uh, let's see, where's the gold section? So, gold items. Um, we got gold bars, which I think was the very first gold item we ever got. Uh, gold candle, which was the thing I was talking about. Looks pretty cool. Not sure if you can customize it into anything, though. Would it work great for, like, a centerpiece of a table? Uh, this we actually got today. The, uh, gold seats. Which is pretty cool looking. Could probably use it in Zen Garden or somewhere. Like, the upper area. This we've made, as you can tell by the check. Wait, never mind. Oh, we have made the chows before. I forgot. Um... I don't own one, but I, it counts as me crafting it because we have to craft it for Ken. Uh, never mind, I have crafted it before. My bad. We haven't crafted golden gears, though. Um, I have them somewhere in storage. Oh, wait, never mind. You don't even need the golden gear item to make them. I thought you did. That's pretty cool. It's just the gears, but golden. I have the silver version of it. Never bad bothered making a gold one yet. Gold armor I have the DIY for, and I have a copy of it. However, um... I never actually crafted one myself, so it might need to sell out my other gold armor and then use that one for our robot, so that we have crafted every single piece ourselves, which are fun. This thing we'll make once we get our museum set up for that, same as this whenever we catch it, however I don't think it's available till June, if I'm not mistaken, this fish, or at least in Northern Hemisphere anyways. I'm pretty sure this isn't until June. Uh, it is an actual fish in the game, and we'll put it next to our actual other model. Um, yeah, I kind of want to make gears then. Pretty much just normal gears, but golden. Actually, it only takes one gold, really. That's pretty cheap. Make a couple of them pretty easily, then. Yeah, might as well make some golden gears. Why not? Another thing that we have crafted. It's pretty much just normal gears, but gold. Let me see if I can find my normal ones. I'll see ya, Kyle. We'll catch you later. Yeah, I'm going to try for the uh, char for a little while, and then probably going to wrap up for today as well. But um, I do want to try char attempts. Also, we need to go get our bamboo, too. But uh, tomorrow we have Earth Day. Uh, we still don't know if we're necessarily getting anything for Earth Day, though. Um, obviously, we're getting stuff after Earth Day. However, on Earth Day itself, we don't really know, I don't think. I'm not sure exactly what's up with that. Uh, because the update's not till the 23rd. However, Earth Day is the 22nd. Um, right? It is the 22nd, not the 23rd, right? Pretty sure. So it's a little bit weird sure exactly why that is. Anyways, I'm going to check golden gears. I want to see how it looks compared to normal gears. Okay, where's normal gears? I know I have them in here somewhere. Uh, actually, I'm just going to sort by alphabetical. Uh, where is gear? Gear, gear, gear. Well, there's all of our other gold. Uh, gold armor. Where is gear? There it is. Oh, we got three different color gears now. Oh, cool. Let's see what they all look like next to each other. Uh, let's turn some lights on. Uh, let's see. Also, hello, Taco Stacks. Welcome. 
Okay, we got gold. We got, uh, uh, which one cover is that? We got silver. And we got bronze. Hey, look at that. Almost, we can put trophies underneath them or something. Cool. Yeah, we could literally just put our trophies next to them or something. On some kind of other contraction. That'd actually look pretty cool for our trophy room if we ever make one. The bronze, silver, and gold uh, cogs with them. Didn't even realize we had all three colors already. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if it comes in any other colors. And uh, we can actually probably move them near each other too. Though unfortunately, I don't think you can move them so close that it looks like they're moving each other. Like yours kind of do. Uh, no, it's impossible to move them that close. That would have been really cool if you could. But no, I don't think there's any way to move it that close. Nope. Nope, even though it looks like you kind of put it there. And that's going to be like some amount of separation from each other. But I'm just going to leave them on the wall. <laughs> Might as well. I don't have any need to really take them down for now. And you can click them to turn them off if you want. However, we'll turn them back on. Bronze, silver, and gold. How do we get all that stuff? Most of these have been from a combination of random balloon drops, crafting it from DIYs and just having way too much material, and um, occasionally from islands. Um, make sure whenever you go to a private island or when you use a Nook Mile ticket to shake the trees if there are normal trees there. There is a guarantee wasp nest and, uh, more importantly, an item whenever you go to one of those islands. Uh, we've gotten quite a few. We've done... How many Nook Mile tickets have we done right now? Pretty sure this one's accurate. We've done about... Uh, no, that was the one from when we last did it. Uh, we've done about 106 Nook Mile tickets so far. Um, and I would say about 80 of them had items. Plus, I always buy up the Nook Shops. Okay, let me go do my bamboo. I think it's the last daily we haven't done that we can mess with chars. I don't think I think rain goes by the hour, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it should last at least till um, the next hour then. So we still got time if we want to try catching a char before it expires. So for now, let's claim our bamboo. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer we can get spring bamboo, but I do want to stock up. However, it's not too big a deal because we're going to have an excess of it anyways. I have way more than enough spring bamboo for every single spring bamboo thing that exists in the game. I believe there's 10 items, if I'm not mistaken. However, in case there's someone from Southern Hemisphere that might still need pieces or something. I still want to uh, have spares just in case. I'm not even sure what spring bamboo or bamboo is even worth. It's like collecting in case we need it for things. I already know what we're going to be using some normal bamboo for. We're going to uh, use it for feng shui. Because it's actually a low hanging table. The normal seat. Which allows you to put a whole another object above it. Which works out quite conveniently. I'm running right past our bamboo. Can you have the watermelon? I'm not sure if I have a spare watermelon or not. I can let you touch it. Because right now my catalogs have been pretty tight. Just because I have a lot of things I need to buy with the catalog. Actually, that reminds me. I still haven't bought my items for the day, did I? Oh, no. I guess I could always gift you one. This is not too big a deal. Because I do have some amounts still left. It's a pretty cheap object. Which is, we would have to use one of our, um... I'd either have to let you touch it, or I'd have to, um... Use one of my five daily orders on it. And just gift it to you directly. Also, if you don't have online, I don't think that would work. Didn't you say earlier you didn't have online? Because even if I gifted it to you, I don't think it would send out. Unless you had online. A I'm gonna hit that tree just so we know where we left off. There we go. Yeah, balloons drop a lot of items. And gifting your villagers random junk you don't need. Particularly valuable random junk you don't need. Like wasps and other insects and fish.
so I'm not sure what we're doing with this bridge. We're obviously eventually getting rid of it. I almost feel like getting rid of it now. Just because, um... Uh, I'm probably gonna have a Zen bridge over here. One of the ones that fits, like, a Zen garden a bit better. So we're probably not gonna be keeping that natural bridge. Maybe we'll even do that today. Just so I don't forget. Also open up that area a little bit more. And eventually we are getting rid of some of these trees. We do have a little bit too many. But while we still have spring bamboo, I do want to keep all these here. Once spring bamboo expires, we'll probably get rid of them. Because however many spring bamboo we get by the end of spring is the total amount we will have for like the next nine months. So I want to make sure I stock up similar to how we did on blossoms. I think I have like 20, 30, 50 stacks. I'm not even sure. I know it's like a lot. <laughs> Never counted specifically. But the reason I got so many was um, we can't get more until like end of March of next year. Or whenever it was. When was it running? Or actually it was early April. We can't get it till early April of next year without time travel. So all the stock we have now is uh, our total. Unless we want to pay for it overpriced the multiplayer. Or find someone who randomly has spares that they don't want. Or time travel, no, just kidding. We are not time traveling. Though I do wish they would allow some way to get out of season uh, material without time travel. I feel like they're just waiting for the game to progress a bit further before they do. I kind of mentioned that earlier in the stream too. I feel like the main reason we don't have that, even though that's somewhat a feature in some other Animal Crossing, is mostly because they didn't want it on release. Because it would kind of devalue the whole seasonal progression if you could just go to islands and get anything. Uh, however, I feel like it'll be a feature they will eventually add once enough time has gone by. So that um, people can just basically backtrack without backtracking physically. Or, you know, without time traveling. Have an actual mechanic for it. Kind of like how they did Southern Hemisphere. Except, you know, um, have it for uh, all the seasons. Probably through the Nook Mile program in some way. Like, we already know that we're getting a May ticket. Um, and who knows, maybe those May tickets will work even after the fact. Who knows? I'll probably keep a few just in case. done with every tree on our property so close and we get a bunch of bamboo for it uh what are we time are we ending the stream probably within the next hour or so i'm actually starting to get a little bit hungry actually i still wanted to try some char attempts though oh uh, we're not currently hosting anyone here mostly because we have a billion turnips on the ground i need to sell them soon I was hoping to sell them to my own island. However, we can't even check prices today because the shop is closed. But uh, we'll have an upgraded Nook shop tomorrow. And Earth Day if they're doing anything for it. We know they're doing some stuff for Earth Day after the fact. However, I'm not sure if we're getting anything specifically on Earth Day itself. Which seems kind of weird. Also, a triple spring. Nice. Let's see as much spring bamboo as possible. Because that's the more limited one. I think it has one in three chance of dropping. In fact, we got three from a tree is nice. Now we're getting, like, none from the rest. Oh, so I don't normally do it, but you can actually use your axe to, um, to harvest, um, stone from the, um, stones. Gosh, we're going through so many axes. Down to our last axe now. Okay, last two rows. Uh, Boris, we don't have a uh, code set up. 
Bora, stop spamming. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. I didn't ban you, I just put you in a timeout so you'd stop spamming us. Oh, so where are my moderators? I generally don't have as many moderators for uh, Animal Crossing streams. All good though. We'll do it manually. I don't like banning people. Let's put it in timeout so he doesn't keep spamming us. And last tree. There we go. <laughs> now to try selling the turnips. No, just kidding. I'll probably do that off stream. That's going to take way too long. I might not even do that today. I honestly don't feel like dealing with that today. <laughs> Obviously, we got to do it before the weekends, and I ideally want to do it before the update. So we'll probably do it at some point tomorrow. Or maybe tonight, I'm not sure, but uh, at this exact moment in time, I really do not feel like dealing with that. <laughs> Ideally, I just want to do it on my own islands. Hopefully, we'll have good prices in the morning or night of tomorrow, and we can sell them all then. Maybe even during tomorrow's stream, if we get it during tomorrow's stream. It's a lot more convenient doing it on your own island. Even if you're not getting as good money for it, it's, it's just so much more convenient. Also, gosh, we already filled up all the inventory. Uh, let me just get a bunch of random clothing and just drop it to my other account. Uh, obviously, it'll pick it up later. All the bunny ears from Easter. Cherry hat. Okay. Uh, and then we put this stuff away. And then we'll drop the other stuff over. Oh, good cinnamon. I didn't even notice you changed your icon to, uh, what's his name? That one, uh, octopus thing. From Animal Crossing. Okay, how do we do this? We're running out of room through this randomly drop junk for the other account. It's the only problem with putting that other area over there. So I used to kind of use that space for that purpose, but now I can't. I'm not sure if we're keeping it like that. Because it has a dingy noise, like, right next to our house. I almost want to put that somewhere... I don't know. We're, we're somewhere in our town. But it's somewhere where we generally wouldn't hear it. Because the only problem with having that area right there is we're going to hear that dinging noise a lot. Which is not ideal. Um, i trying to think of where else we could put it. Okay, and there's all of our clothing. Or not all of our clothing. We still have some junk in storage. I need to put it all over to the other account. Obviously, it's, most of it is stuff we'll kind of keep, but uh, I'm not sure what our current situation is on clothing. Some of the items are not tradable, though. Before, I, if I ever was to sell out all my clothing, which I'm not sure I would, I'd just probably put them in storage. But uh, I'd probably want to check if um, um, if any of them are not tradable. A couple of them are only ever obtained through. Um, uh, specifically through uh, specific means that would make them untradeable. Uh, for example, or you know, that you can't rebuy when I say that. Um, so for example, all the Dao uh, clothing uh, is not tradable. Or you know, you can't uh, end up getting more of it very quickly. Uh, you can't just catalog it and then get more of it. Uh, oh, what's his name is thinking? Let me go see what he's thinking of. You want to leave? You know you want to leave. You know you want to leave. So we can evict you. I just thought a great new name for you. Uh, let's see. But I'm pretty proud of this new one. Tell me. No. I'm not so sure. What, no good? No, well, that's a bitter defeat. But I'm sure I'll think up a really good nickname later. No. We're sticking with Jet Setter. That's the only good thing we had from Tutu. Is the fact that she set our nickname to Jet Setter. Which works really good given our current outfit. <laughs> also, that's too small to be what I'm looking for. Also, I just realized it's going to be really annoying to do, isn't it? Maybe we're not going to try for char. Uh, we don't have anywhere to go sell our fish, do we? <laughs> Which is going to make this exceedingly annoying. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and get char within minutes. Go, char. Come on, we place a billion Charizards around you. Give us a char- Oh, I thought that was one for a second. It's just a cherry salmon. Faking us out with the same size fish. I 
Yeah, I'm only gonna take the shadow if it's that size. Pretty sure that's the exact size of Char. I'm not sure if that's too big a shadow or not. It's probably Black Bass. Yep. I think that's too big of a shadow. I think it has to be one size smaller than that for the char. I'm not 100% certain, so I'm taking both of them anyways. I know it's not that small. Well, so the reason I customized my rod before I came over here was actually for a specific reason, not just to change its color. It actually does repair. Uh, you can use those DIY kits to basically repair equipment. Come on, Char. Come on. Come on, Char. That is the base. However, I technically needed that for an achievement thingy. So give me my 200 miles. Actually, it's 400 miles. It was one of our daily ones. Nice. Oh, did we talk to what's-his-name right inside of us? Yeah, we did already. We have a chat with people objective. Oh, that reminds me. I never did recheck my DIYs. It was uh, Drake earlier. Ugh. So if we ever see Drake about randomly, we know there's a DIY in some other house. All good, Boris. Yeah, we don't have a code set up at the moment. Mostly because we have so many turnips here that I wasn't really hosted. Not sure when we will again. If we do, we'll have a bunch of pitfall recipes ready to go. We've got some free uh, pitfalls for everyone. As well as just messing around with stuff. And we'll make a mini game for next time. If we do, we'll probably make a pitfall related mini game. That or a scavenger hunt mini game. Of items I don't need or something. So you guys can get something that you might need randomly. I'm starting to get a lot of repeat items. A lot of which have really low value, however they might be needed for some people. There's quite a few pretty low ob value objects that are pretty cool. Like for example, those floor lights only cost a few thousand. But uh, those floor lights that make like a ray of light coming up, they're some of the coolest things you can have on the ground. Even though they're not actually worth that much, spell-wise, technically. that snail. He's just walking into that rock. <laughs> what even? I wish he would start walking again. That's kind of funny. He like observes it and then walks into the rock. How long will I still be playing for? Probably another half an hour or so. Trying to catch a char right now. Surrounded by Charizards. And now he's gonna try getting in our way, isn't he? That's not what we're looking for. Luckily he's going all the way to the corner. Oh, how long have we been playing? Oh gosh, a really long time. It's like 300 something hours. I've been playing for 400 hours by the end of today. But yeah, we've been playing for 400 hours. No time travel, no exploits. Even after repairing it, it still wasn't enough. <laughs> Luckily, this is why we carry two. Up this time, I won't have to do. Well, I actually went at a non-annoying location, at least. 
stinky over there. Trying to fish with us. So apparently it just doesn't want to give us anything good again. That seems to be tradition with this pond. Or a lake, I should say. That's technically a pond. So it counts as lake drops. And this pond somehow has infinite water. What tip would I give for a newer player? Probably to make sure you do all the dailies. Uh, there's a lot of dailies in this game. Um, I think it takes like almost a whole hour if you do like literally all of them. But um, dailies include um, shaking every wood tree on your island, not the fruit related ones. Oh, there we go. We got a chart. That's actually what I'm looking for. Now I need a, bu a bunch more of them. I need um, two more. Nice. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But um, as far as what all the dailies are, or at least most of them, there are uh, Nook Mile things. These have multipliers on them. I already just finished the last one that had a multiplier, so I can't actually show that right now. But there's a multiplier every single day of like two times or five times on these. You generally want to be doing that um, on your tasks uh, when they have a multiplier just because they um, give, you know, like twice or five times the amount for doing the exact same thing you kind of already would have done. Uh, other dailies include uh, checking uh, Nook Shop and uh, Able Sisters once you have them. Uh, always good to see anything new that they might have that you might want. Uh, other than that, uh, from your catalog, which you do at the uh, Nook Stop in um, the uh, tent or the uh, building if you have it yet, um, you can get uh, daily items from here, uh, generally of stuff that you don't own. Uh, particularly the songs as well as the furniture are the two most important ones. Uh, to be keeping an eye on. Uh, other than that, um, if you shake all your trees on your island, you have a guarantee two item drops every single day, as well as five wasp nests. You should always do it with a net uh, so they can instantly catch the uh, wasp when they come around. Uh, other than that, um, keep all your trash and random stuff that you find. Uh, almost everything is crafting material, so even stuff like just trash you shouldn't get rid of. It's actually somewhat useful as there are recipes that end up utilizing it. Um, Let's see, other things, um, what other dailies were there? Make sure to hit all your rocks every single day and make sure you do not have food power. Whenever you eat food, you gain like power from it. Uh, to get rid of it, just keep like burying a tree. You can also go on a toilet and that gets rid of all your food power too. But uh, don't accidentally hit a food uh, rock while you have food power or it'll break it, unless you want to move the location of the rock. But um, you always want to hit your rocks every single day. When you do hit your rocks, make sure to do it in a corner or to uh, use your shovel to make a corner. Uh, mostly because you want to not have any knockback while you're doing it, so that you can hit it for all eight times to get the max amount of loot. And other than that, if you're ever running low on uh, resources, Nick Mile Ticket is probably the best way to get more resources. And as far as other dailies, um, you also can get DIYs from your villagers a couple times a day. Not sure the exact interval on that. So you should have more DIYs. I think that's almost everything. I'm pretty sure I missed something. Alright, there's four fossils buried on your island every single day. Always make sure to try to find those. I think that's almost everything. I feel like I'm still forgetting one. There's a lot of dailies. <laughs> there's a lot of optional dailies. Some are a little bit less optional than others. Like, for example, um, something like uh, doing your trees is one of the ones that you'd almost always want to do. Just because they're two guaranteed items. That could be something that you don't own. Where something like fossils, once you finish out museums, could theoretically be skipped. So it's still advised to do. Yeah, there's a lot of gu uh, d uh, guides that have the full list for it. It's pretty long, or rather average, depending on how many you actually want to do. Kind of like Gems of War dailies. Gems of War dailies can actually go a little above an hour. If you do, like, literally everything. But if you skip over delves and some of like, the ones that are less needed, it takes, like, 20 minutes <laughs> to do dailies, not counting guild-related tasks. When did I get a house? Um, we got it by... You get it... Um, you get your first house upgrade after you get 5,000 miles. After you get your first 5,000 miles, you get the house upgrade. 
That also allows you to do Nook Miles Plus, which allows you to infinitely farm uh, miles pretty effectively. Is that char size? I'm not even sure. What size was the char when we caught it? Was that one or size bigger? I'm not even sure. Pretty sure that size is possible to be it. So I'm not 100% certain on that. Yeah, I'm still in need of two more chars. But I got a problem. I have no clue where I'm storing all this random fish. Does anyone currently have an island with a shop that isn't closed? Let me know. It might actually quite literally be quicker just for me to go over to your island than to drop all this or try releasing all of this. I'm not even kidding. That might actually quite literally be quicker <laughs> because of how long it would take. It feels so weird not having access to a shop. And we can't sell it at Able Sisters. They don't buy that stuff, unfortunately. That'd be kind of funny if they did. Here's a bunch of fish for your clothing store. Though they did sell us a sushi outfit before. Well, at least we didn't leave empty handed. We got one char. However, we still need two more. I want to make a model out of it. We need five of every single specimen in the game. One for museum, uh, three for model, and one to put next to our model. Or underneath it if you can go underneath. Most fish can go underneath. I'm thinking that's a golden trout every single time I see a dace. However, you can tell because the dace has like a white little stomach thing, whereas golden trout's completely, uh, uh, completely golden. Also, the golden trout looks like a trout, <laughs> whereas that looks like a dace. Though so trout's image looks a little bit more, uh, is a little bit more common of a fish. When you think of a fish, like seeing a trout icon is like, oh, okay, that's a trout. Uh, anyways, let me go grab this balloon. It's most likely bells, but it can be other stuff. Hello. What? Okay. Well then. I guess we'll wait. If I try doing it now, it's going to go in the water. And now we wait. Is that turnip town? I know, we got like a billion turnips back there. We got too many turnips. Way too many turnips. Really? <laughs> it went all the way over there. Wait, why couldn't we have done it earlier then? I did it on that tile and it didn't work. Weird. I did it exactly aligned with that tile on the flower side. And I thought it was aligned and it was. I'm not sure why I didn't hit it then. Oh good, we got a, a new thing. I don't even think I have this actually. Hold up. This might not even be a new color variant. This, this might be a new object that we don't own yet. Oh, it's, uh, uh, oh yeah, it definitely is. It's um, it's wall only. I don't think I've ever gotten something like that for wall. I'm not sure, but uh, cool finds. I think I've seen it before, but I don't think I own it yet. It's like a little brush pin with a broom thingy that you hang on your wall. I have seen it before. Come on, Char. Come on, we paid tribute with a billion Charizards. Give us the loot. How do you get golden tools? Uh, oh, oops. Yeah, wasn't paying attention. But uh, golden tools are obtained from uh, quite a few different things. Um, I only have three of them. There's only three of them that are available without time travel. Uh, the rest require time travel currently. But I have all the non-time travel ones. There are six total. Um, golden slingshot. You have to knock down 300 balloons. And uh, then you'll randomly find a golden balloon at some point. And then that golden balloon has the recipe to get golden slingshot. 
Uh, for Watering Can, you have to get 5 Star Town. The second you get 5 Star Town for the first time, you will get Golden Watering Can. Uh, golden Axe is the simplest to get. Uh, you just have to break 100 axes. Easiest way is to go and buy Flimsy Axes right outside of, or inside of uh, Tom Nook's shop. Um, put a tree right outside of it, and then keep breaking those over and over and over again. It's the absolute easiest to do. As, as long as you can afford 100 stone axes, which only costs you, I believe, 80,000 bells, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's all you need to go and get that achievement and just spam them on a single tree. doesn't actually matter if you get wood from them. You just have to break them. Uh, and that's the easiest way to break them. And uh, the other three are all time travel only uh, at this current moment in time. Um, the fishing rod and net are both obtained from having all 80 specimen uh, donated to the museum. And at that point, I'm not sure exactly at what point you get it, but I believe it just mails it to you or something. I'm not sure. But uh, you need to get all of the um, all of the fish for the fishing rod and all the um, insects for the insect or for the net. Uh, both of which are not possible without time travel because of when they are uh, they are all seasonal. So uh, some of them have not been uh, possible yet. And other than that, the very last one is shovel. And shovel, I believe, is 30 Gullivers. I'm not sure exactly how that works. But supposedly, you're supposed to get uh, Gulliver 30 times. I think I've gotten him four times. Um, obviously, with time travel, you just keep going until you find Gullivers. But, um, yeah, and that's the last one. And that's all six Goldens in the game. Golden tools are not always necessarily worth using. The most useful Golden tool is probably Golden Water Can. Because I believe it's the only Golden tool that actually has properties beyond just being Golden. Uh, well, all of them have higher durability. I believe all of them have higher durability by about two times compared to the steel version of them. However, um, they cannot be repaired uh, because you can't customize them. That could be a little bit annoying if you are using uh, repairing a lot um, because it helps to not break your tools. However, you can't do the same with golden. Um, golden Warden Can is the only one with special properties which can help make golden flowers off of uh, black roses. Uh, all the other ones are pretty much just cosmetic and just with the higher durability. They're still pretty cool to have. But the most useful one is definitely wa Golden Water and Can, hands down. There is uh, no Golden Tool more useful than that, compared to its base version. The next uh, most uh, uh, useful one is probably Golden Axe, even though it's the absolute easiest. And the main reason for this is gold, uh, Axe, you generally kind of expect that it's not going to break on you when you're just cutting down a tree. And given that the stone one and uh, no axes can even be uh, customized, it uh, ends up working out pretty decently since you weren't able to go and repair them anyways. So having a golden tool that can't be repaired isn't really that big a difference since you already can't repair them. Okay, let's go put this jar in storage. Hopefully I have enough in storage. I'm pretty sure I got rid of enough that we can. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I am really excited for the update that's coming. Okay, what on earth do we do with all this trash now? So let me go put this on the wall real quick. What does this look like? Yep. Oh, that's a pretty cool coloration for it, too. I've never seen it in that color. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have that object yet. I've seen it before. I've written that color, though. Pretty cool. I like it. A lot of uh, cleaning supplies in the game. Okay, what on earth do we do with this stuff? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Uh... We'd have to find an island to go sell it at, or drop it, or put it in storage, or do something weird with it. I'm not even sure. I am not sure. Oh, uh, there's an update happening on the 23rd. Um, uh, quite a few things actually happening with it. We're going to be getting Red, which if you never played any of the older games, he is a traveling merchant who sells counterfeits and real um, uh, art pieces, uh, which will go into the museum. So we're getting Red, who will be selling uh, color variants of items that you normally wouldn't be able to get, as well as um, uh, as well as well uh, fake and real art. Um, the real of which you can donate to the museum. The fake, I believe, you could just decorate your house with. Um, so there's going to be that. He, um, we're also going to be getting a museum expansion, which will be bringing in the art section, which has been in every Animal Crossing. This was the first one that didn't have it, but just adding an update. Uh, Red will specifically be right here. Uh, he will dock here occasionally. It'll be like a random thing, kind of like how you randomly have people in your town square and stuff like that. 
um, he'll just randomly occasionally be docked right here, which means we need to move this because we might not be able to get on the ship otherwise. But uh, other than that, uh, we're also going to be getting bushes. Uh, bushes will be added to the game as well as hedges. This, I believe, was added in New Leaf, um, so we're going to be getting them back. Not sure if they even had hedges in the other game, but you will be getting hedges in this game. Um, so that'll be a thing. That'll be happening for Earth Day. Uh, though Earth Day's on the 22nd. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing on the 22nd. But on the 23rd, we're going to be having a, uh, a shop that sells those bushes and everything. We're also going to have a few little uh, objectives that you can do around town that will give you more miles as well during that time. Uh, after that, for May, we're going to be having May Day. And apparently we're going to be having some kind of interesting new Nook Mile ticket that we can choose to use. That'll be only during May Day. Uh, what exactly are the benefits of it? We don't really know, except for the fact that it seems you can get shrubs fully grown from these places. So if you haven't already gotten shrubs grown by the 1st of May, you could just do some tickets that will directly give you shrubs, which will be pretty convenient uh, if you haven't already done them. And other than that, um, well, that's most of the things we've seen. I think they're doing some kind of like wedding picture day for uh, for the month of May or something. Um, but yeah, the most interesting ones are red coming in and the museum change. For the most part. And I guess we're getting shrubs. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we're getting quite a bit, bit in the update. Quite a bit. Okay, let's start dropping all this, I guess. Gotta do something with it. <laughs> I just need to make sure I don't confuse it with the other section. Actually, you know what? Let me not drop it. You know, I, Do you know how easy it's going to be for me to confuse it? Does anyone have an open shop? <laughs> I think I'm just going to sell it to someone's shop. Find someone who's open and just sell it there. Yeah, does anyone have a functioning open shop? Let me know. Because I don't want to accidentally, like, sell that later. And I don't want to. Let me just go catch two more fish, and then we'll hopefully try selling them somewhere. Please be a char. Right, I'm definitely going to be playing it for uh, the first year pretty heavily, like we have been. But yeah, um, as far as other things that have been data mined in the game, uh, that haven't been confirmed. Everything that I just mentioned is confirmed. However, some things that have been probably going to happen but haven't been confirmed is diving is probably going to come into the game. It's kind of like normal fishing, except you go into the water and dive down. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have like an underwater thing. Uh, like, you don't get to go see, like, some nice underwater scenery, unfortunately. But, uh, you do get to, like, uh, uh catch, um, fish that are, like, under the sea and stuff. Uh, but the most important thing that's correlated with that is we are likely getting cooking in this game. Uh, cooking is almost 100% going to be added. Especially since they added a crafting system in this game. And obviously cooking is a form of crafting system, uh, in its basic form. And, uh, we're likely going to be getting crops. Uh, which will also be the first time for crops in Animal Crossing as well, as well as for cooking. But, um, yeah, both of those features are going to be coming in the very near future, most likely. But neither of those were confirmed, though. But, um, that'd be pretty cool once it does come. Uh, and those foods might have special effects. Like, we already have food power, but there might be other things that it does. Like, maybe we'll get more resources from cutting down tree, or, you know, uh, like, maybe if you cut down a tree, you get, like, triple the resource, or if you paint normal wood from it you get double or if you take a rock you get more rare resources it could be any number of things for food buffs in this game uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see what they end up doing with it um like what kind of wide range i hope they're not all just food power uh, because obviously that's the only real benefit that we have right now is being able to uproot trees and um kill out rocks however uh, we might get special ones that actually have like resource effectiveness and stuff like that so that'd be pretty cool uh for recipes plus the recipes would probably sell for more than the individual ingredients which also be pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool things. Also, uh, we're probably getting more museum upgrades beyond that. We're likely getting another uh, upgrade beyond the uh, this one that we're getting right now. Uh, um, we're probably getting like an upstairs or whatever else they end up doing with it. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, what other things were in data mines? Um, there's at least one other feature that I'm forgetting. What did I not mention yet? I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, Brewster's probably coming to the game. Um which was like a bar kind of place uh which has like coffee and uh there's also a place where kk normally was a few other things it might be his own place separate from the museum uh, oh yeah we're also probably getting gyroids gyroids if you ever played any of the other animal crossing is basically a collectible uh, almost like fossils uh, i believe one appears every single day or only when it's raining i forget exactly but um you basically can find a gyroid in the ground in a similar way that you find fossils 
and uh, these dry roads make a sound whenever they're turned on and you can kind of make like a little musical note thingy and have like a few of them to almost make like a little beat going on uh, however they are mostly obtained for collection purposes uh, they're almost like an alternative fossil that makes noise <laughs> except they look like little statues in different various colors uh, i don't think there was anything else i think that was most of the things unless i'm forgetting something yeah, the most two interesting thing 100% confirmed in the next patch, though, is uh, red uh, on the top right beach, or, you know, wherever your top little sandy beach is, uh, and the uh, other thing being the museum expansion. Oh, let me go get that balloon. But I think for now, we're actually going to uh, ra start wrapping up for now, though. Uh, for now, go grab dinner. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, though. Tomorrow's Earth Day. Not sure if they're doing anything specifically for Earth Day. Obviously, we're getting the patch on the 23rd. If nothing else, Mario Maker 2 update's happening tomorrow, so we might need to mess around with that uh, some. And of course, this uh, Thursday we are doing the uh, the 24 or uh, 24. Uh, the, we're doing the um, uh, fourth anniversary of the channel, so we'll be streaming pretty much all day on uh, Thursday. Um, and by pretty much all day, I mean yeah, quite literally all day. I'm gonna make sure I rest up by tomorrow and uh, have a lot of sleep going into the following day because we will be streaming for a very, very, very long time on Thursday, uh, playing many, many, many different games. Uh, pet food bowl, please be not red. Why do I only have red? Tell me you come in a different color. Thank you, we got blue. Finally. I'm not sure if I need blue, but we got a color that isn't red. After, gosh, how many pet food bowls do we have? Like five? <laughs> I feel like we have too many. But there we go. I think that'll wrap it up. And we'll find somewhere to go get rid of this quickly later. Don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> pet food bowl will store away. Might as well do that now. And, um... Yeah, we'll go into uh, tomorrow then. I don't think we have too much else we really need to do around here. I feel like a lot of these days we don't have as many things. I feel like we get most of our dailies done within like the first hour or so. And then the rest of the time it's kind of just putzing around with whatever we want to mess around with. Or if we want to do trades or anything else. Obviously you can decorate. However, I'm in a condition right now where we're more in a collection kind of area. So uh, there's a lot of things that I need before I can properly decorate. Uh, which is the only problematic issue right now. Like, uh, obviously we could decorate more. However, um, to finish out our museum, we uh, not only need uh, more things, <laughs> because if more flowers and other things come into the game, this will help uh, fill up these areas. But um, the other thing being, um, I can't do the main part of my island until we have every single one of these. And this is a very, very long task to do. Uh, I'm not sure how many other people are even bothering to do this. But it is one of the more difficult things to do in the game. Collect a model of every single fish in the game and have a spare one of every single one. Which means you can't even just spam buy it. That means you actually have to manually get it yourself as well. Because two of them you have to manually get yourself. The one you give to the museum and the one that you use for the next year model. Uh, you could theoretically buy these models. However, that only saves you from catching three of them. You still have to catch two of everything, regardless. Uh, and if you're getting the model yourself, you got to catch five of it. So uh, it's a really big task, and it takes forever and a half. But we're getting there. I have almost every single thing for Northern Hemisphere right now, actually. I'm missing Dory and uh, uh, the Char, which is what we were trying to get. Uh, this stream was I was trying to get more copies of Char. So we'd have three of them for whenever CJ shows up again. But uh, for the most part, we have like most of the other ones that are available right now. We make pretty good progress on it. Also, I absolutely love this turtle. There's another version of them too. I wasn't able to catch it in the Southern Hemisphere when it was available though, because it was night only, and I know like almost no one in Southern Hemisphere who is around when it's nighttime for them. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna be heading out for now. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Uh, as I mentioned, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, not sure exactly what time, but um, maybe a little bit closer to 10, uh, because I do want to wrap up a little bit earlier tomorrow. Uh, I might even do the Gems of War stream earlier tomorrow, I'm not sure. It's because I want to make sure I'm well rested for uh, Thursday. Uh, because we are going to be doing a very, 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 very long double stream on uh, Thursday. Uh, we're probably going to go for like 10 to 11 hours for another 10 to 11 hours. Or at least that's the game plan, assuming I'm rested enough for it. Uh, that is the game plan. So we're going to be really busy. But yeah, tomorrow we'll probably mess with uh, upgraded shops, see what else we can do around, see if they do anything specific for Earth Day itself. Or if it's just going to be something after the fact. And then from there we go and, um, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, Mario Maker 2, possibly, tomorrow. I uh, might even combine it into our, our, uh, normal, um, Animal Crossing stream, just so we don't divide the two streams. But Animal Crossing 2, I mean, Animal Crossing 2, um, Mario Maker 2 is getting a, a pretty major update tomorrow. Uh, and I did want to mess around with that, too. At least some capacity, nothing else. 
as it's uh, the last major patch that's ever getting at you. Um, it's still going to have a lot of replay value beyond that point, though, of course. But, uh, I don't know, I haven't really been playing it as much. It'll be something that'll kind of get me back into the game a little bit. So we still need to get the rest of these color wheels. We only have three. I think there's like six or seven different variants. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your days. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll be back with more Animal Crossing. Around the same time. Probably start a little bit earlier, around 10 or so. And uh, we'll also have a really big, massive stream on Thursday. We'll be playing about a dozen different games or so. Maybe a little bit less than that, but, you know, it'll be like eight to maybe a dozen or so. Summer's around there. A lot of games. Obviously, we'll still be doing Gems of War, and we'll still be doing uh, Animal Crossing as two of those. And, of course, our uh, Gems of War stream for any of you that watch is in three hours from now at the same time as always, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, tonight. Also, Zidicus, if you have an extra green one, could you order one for me? Or if you don't have an extra one, could you order one for me? I could either one-to-one -one trade you a pink, or I could just give you, like, a Nook Mile ticket, which is the same uh, Nook Mile uh, value of that. Um... But yeah, I still need the green. I forget what the other variants are. I think there's like five or six colors. I believe green and white are the two I'm missing. I'm pretty sure white is a variant of it. But I'm definitely missing green. I want to get one of each. And uh, we're currently missing green and white, I believe. But yeah, thank you for that. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks again, Zidicus, for everything. And uh, yeah, I'll just give you a pink then. I should have a spear. I'll go double check before later. But uh, yeah, I'll just trade you the pink one for the green one then. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for stopping by. Goodbye, everyone. And enjoy the rest of your day. And stay safe out there from the virus.